Okay, hello everyone. Um, just got a few starting ads, or a few seconds of starting ads, and we should be good to go now. Uh, hello everyone, I hope people are doing well today. So, back with Xenoblade Chronicles as per the norm. And, um, okay, I admit, apparently I've been a bit spicy on Twitter today, so I apologise if any of that comes through, and apparently my microphone is acting up again. Give me a moment, please. Okay, let me see. That seems to be slightly, slightly better. Uh, just adjust around... You know you want to behave. Come on. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm not a bot. Um, lurking is absolutely fine, and I hope you uh, have a good nap if you choose to do so. No problem at all with the lurking here. Yeah, like I said, been a little bit spicy on Twitter today, so I do apologise if that unintentionally carries over to here is just kind of everything that's been going on with twitch and related stuff if you're aware of that if you are not um basically there's some accusations that twitch is just completely going to be or is eroding its kind of streaming user base by removing any and all 70 30 revenue cuts for subs and such and encouraging people to run more ads instead this coming on the heels of a um investigation into underage accounts and youtube opening up monetization options for people who can't quite get youtube partnership and there's been a fair amount of talk about people switching platforms, diversifying, and all of that good stuff. Hello there, Tim Dimoshka. How are you doing today? Uh, been a while since I've seen you actively in the stream. Hope your hope things have been going well for you. <laughs> and yes, I was waiting for um, people to start using those new sound effects. Uh, there's a couple of them around. Oh jeez, we are not finding these drops we want at all. I was hoping to be able to get these done before the stream, but apparently not. Uh, you're doing pretty Mozambique. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope things are able to get better soon. Okay. I can't quite see if my stream is flickering or not because I keep on seeing it out the corner of my eye. Aha, yes. There is a tiny bit of flicker. I don't know why that's happening. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't mean that loads and loads of things are going to be breaking because I can't afford to replace them. Jeez. I've got a whole house move to deal with. I can't all this to be breaking. Uh. Okay, anyway, oh, I'll keep going on and hopefully I'll just check if I have anything open that I can probably close down. I mean, yes, I do. Oh, gee, still not what I want. Okay, that's still flickering. Oh, great. Uh, they haven't, don't seem to be mobilising you, so you're continuing to write articles. 
Okay. That's a good thing that they're not mobilizing you. Hopefully that stays similarly and obviously people that you know don't get uh, called up to mobilize or anything of the sorts. I am just loving I am just loving the fact that we are coming around here and being so strong that we are practically destroying all of these enemies in like one or two hits. Like, why is it so hard to write on a phone? Because phones have a smaller keyboard? <laughs> also internet's lagging this evening oh that's not good um there should be options i mean i should have options for you to be able to turn down the stream um quality i don't know if that will help any there should be the option there and yeah writing on a phone can be an absolute pain <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, there we go. Okay. Right. I got the second one. I heard the second one. I didn't hear the first one. <laughs> and yes. Yes. I have got stickers. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's supposed to be a cool down. <laughs> it's supposed to be a cool down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well um genuinely genuinely thank you because that has made me feel a bit better today <laughs> but there should be a cool down on though so i'm gonna have to look at that outside of the street <laughs> anyway what i was going to say before i got interrupted you're too powerful with any cool downs apparently stuck Back in. Okay, if it was a loose connection on that end, that should have hopefully sorted it out. Oh God! <laughs> oh jeez! That legitimately let. There, play. That legitimately made me jump. That was so loud. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. Right. Noted. Noted. Okay, no, I can still see flickering. Uh, noted. I need to check the sound volumes on all of those things before the next stream, hopefully. Uh, glad you're enjoying the new options though, Tim. Glad you are enjoying the new options. <laughs> and yeah, the stickers at the very least, I have adjusted them so that they will only be on the chat window so it won't interfere with the actual game view. But it's still hopefully large enough that people are able to see it. Okay, so we can get this broken bridge fixed, and there we go. Okay, there we go. So we now actually have a bridge over on this section. It's nice to see. <laughs> okay, so I think it's probably worth so the Maconis field. We need to go all the way up to the top, don't we? 
I think it was. Yes. <laughs> oh, why did that sticker not? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really need to redo the um, evil laugh because it's not actually that long. But either way, I'm glad you're having fun with all the new stickers and uh, sound alerts. Murder, murder, murder. Yeah, obviously some of these sound effects do um, cost bits, but there are ones which are just redeemable via channel points or are free. Because I thought, you know, there's not going to be much point in me putting up options that required bits. So there are some that people can just use for free. <laughs> so apparently I need to really adjust the cooldown. I really need to adjust the cooldown on them. But yeah, people can put those stickers up um, for what, or whenever they want. Yeah, I would jokingly say, "You better stop that right now, or I'm gonna turn this stream around, and no one's gonna get any entertainment tonight." <laughs> Okay, let me actually see if I can. Um... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look because there should be a cooldown, but there just doesn't seem to be one. So I'm just gonna need to quickly have a look. Um, okay, so there we go. Stream stickers. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, that's not going to help with free stickers. Ah, okay. Well, I've just dragged it all the way across. So we'll just have to have a look. Yeah. So obviously you've got the um, Holly saying hi as a free one. Uh, there's Boop, Pride Heart. Uh, what else? Which one did I step? Um, the standard high as well. Um. And yeah, then there's also a few which are just, um... <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that cooldown's not going to work at all, is it? <laughs> and uh, then there are some stickers that are like 10 bits, so... Okay, right. <laughs> the one thing I will ask is to keep the um, stickers and the sound alerts to a minimum when we're getting the like actual plot, <laughs> the actual plot stuff, <laughs> uh, the plot stuff. So when we have cutscenes and that, please try to limit it then. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll try to remember that I've got those on and I'll try not to jump too much when I get a loud meow in my ear. I try not to jump too much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, I'm still getting that sense of impending doom again.
Definitely still getting that sense of impending doom. This is the central factory within the chest of the Maconis. Can you see the ring up ahead? At the base of that ring is a transporter that leads to Agniratha. We must first head there. This place is full of autonomous security, Mekon. Tread carefully. And of course we need to go around, don't we? Of course we'd need to go around and find an alternative route because why would they make it easy? Father, <laughs> okay, so obviously new area, new collectible that we need to go and grab. And let's have a look to see, okay, level 57. So we are. I was going to say we are okay. You your medication today. <laughs> yes, I have taken my medication today. Oh, need to heal. <laughs> Oh, okay, we've got another one. Ah, uh, come here. Okay, heal, side attack. Okay, so there we go, got that one done. You will aggro on site, but hopefully we can just sneak past you. Blue is a lot lower level. Well, relatively so. Okay, we got both of you aggroed. Fine. I'll just smash through all of you then. But yes, obviously along with the new stickers that I've got, I'm probably, well, okay. I've set up a new TikTok account, which you can just see the link, or the link was just there for a short bit. And between like going through my videos and finding small clips that I can put up there and also collate for Twitch, I am planning towards the end of the year to take a bit of um, time Okay, that should not have um, registered quite so quickly, but anyway, what I was going to say was that I'm planning on taking some time at the end of the year to kind of... Okay, that's not actually going to do... Is that the same on both sides? Are we going down rather than up then? Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Just making sure. is don't you dare give up um there end of year or towards the end of the year i'm going to be taking a bit of a break from streaming and working on some artwork for like stickers emotes badges all of that stuff and fingers crossed that it all goes well i'm going to start opening up a little store on coffee or uh, like selling those items so 
the main thing I know that I'm going to do is actually make some real life stickers out of the emotes and such so people are able to have those. I've got some of them already done but I'm kind of already at the point where I want to just completely redo them all. I just completely want to redo them all because I'm not 100% happy with them. But either way, the sub badges will definitely be like the first ones to be redone because I do have some ideas on how to do it. Um... Because I've got an idea of how to do those and I'm going to be focusing on them more in terms of designing them via like a pixel art style because given how little space you have to really make something I think starting and doing it as pixel art from the start will be the better option oops I was not paying attention I was not paying attention to that There's an ether crystal deposit thing here. So yes, I'm hoping to be able to do that and I may, depending on how things go, be dropping down to two streams a week uh, just to be able to facilitate doing that kind of stuff. Obviously, it's just going to be a matter of, well, it's either going to be Tuesdays or Thursdays that I rearrange to be able to do some artwork and arrange a store and such. But obviously, I will let people know well in advance. Okay, I chose completely the wrong direction to go in. Need to access this one. That's going to be, yep, Max. <laughs> I thought that was going to be way too easy. It's a good thing I did do a little bit of grinding and side quests because I think we may have had a little bit of trouble without them. <laughs> oh. <sighs> that one is way too loud. Seriously, that one is way too loud. You have much to learn about the fairy sex, Shulk. Uh, why do I get the feeling that mastering the Monado is going to be easier? You me when you or you when you find a new way to terrorize the streamer yes oh gosh i honestly cannot remember who it was but um like when i first got affiliate and was able to do like the official channel points uh there was someone who redeemed the hydrate thing i i think about maybe five times in a row and that's when i realized i didn't have a cooldown on the redeems
Okay, maybe the volume on those ones is a little too low because I don't actually... Or maybe I did turn it off for a reason. Maybe I did turn it off for a reason. Anyway, <laughs> I'll probably have a look at those uh, at some other point just because I... Obviously, I'm streaming right now, so I don't have the time to check it out, but... The way I may... Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to arrange those, or the stickers I uploaded and make something a bit different, because those are staying around for more than... or longer than I really necessarily want them to stick around. <laughs> Oh, nice. Level 60. But I think I'll actually change out a few people. So I've been trying to build up the affinity between a bunch of them. Let's move Dunban in. Yeah, sorry, sometimes I do press B too many times. So the Mechon Factory, of course. Oh, actually, is this just the same area? Because Meaty Potato... No, it was Meaty Carrot. Meaty Carrot. I saw. Cable Mouse. Oil Fox. Okay, yeah, we still need a few new things. Okay, there is a quick ad break. Coming up shortly. I don't think we'll get to the next plot relevant section before then. Hello! Oh goodness, you're a big one. Level 65. Oh dear. Well, anyway. Oh yes, I need to remove um, all of Dunban's clothing, don't I? And I'm not saying that just to be weird. Dunban actually has a benefit. Dunban actually has a benefit um, where his agility goes up the less armour he's wearing. So there is a benefit to just stripping him of all his armour. And just letting him run around. Okay, what's going to happen? Titan laser 7. I think I upgraded the shielding enough. But I can't... Um... Okay, um, that was not a good idea. Okay, do not aggro it too much. Okay, there we go. You can tank that Dunban. Hey there, Blue Cornflower. You came in just about when we were expecting a um, ad break, but how are you doing? Hope your day has been going well. Okay, that is... Um, I can't do anything about that. I can revive you. Shield. That's probably actually not going to be the right one. Okay, I definitely need a half decent healer in here. Black matter towards us, that's going to kill us. Uh, no, that was... That was the wrong one. Um... But we did manage to defeat it anyway. <laughs> we did manage to defeat it anyway. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Tim! God damn it! <laughs> Okay, apparently the highlights for this episode are just going to be jump me jumping every single time that damn meow thing is redeemed. <laughs> Hi. 
It's not even my cat's meow. It's just a random meow. It's just a random meow. Aye. <laughs> and yes, you did very nicely time it. You did indeed very nicely time it. <laughs> Hey, Angel Engine X, so we need to remember that one. That's for a Colony 6 quest. And so let me actually have a think. Hey, okay, Affinity Chart, so we are... Um, I think we're maxed out with... Um, Charlotte and Dunban, which is oh no no second to max. We are maxed out with um wine. We're kind of neutral. Yeah, we definitely need to get Ricky into the party a bit more. Cause he needs to um start befriending people. Okay, yeah, it's definitely um Melia and Ricky that we need to uh, start moving around then we need to get it oh we don't necessarily need to get into combat but we do need to be around uh fine it's like i wouldn't necessarily say i'm annoyed at these um by the way I've been a bit salty on Twitter, so that may carry over to this, but I'm not annoyed by this, but it's kind of like, oh, you need to go to this area, and then, oh, actually, no, you need to have this thing instead. Okay, there we go. But it's just kind of more uh, a bit of a, um, like, yeah, couldn't you have just given this to me a little bit earlier, a little bit simpler? I'm hoping by the fact that it just wants one item from three different monsters or three different enemies just means that they are guaranteed to drop them. Unlike trying to fight those uh, hoed planks in Magna Forest. I was playing that for over an hour before stream just trying to get the drops yeah okay, yeah m100 arms so that should be what we need. and then the other two are okay one's apparently down quite a way oh no up actually it's up and we need to defeat a bunch of you first Okay, someone learned a new skill, and let's have a look at that. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Okay, now the question is: You are up there. Can we maybe try and lure you down? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, you're taking the long route down. You're not actually jumping. You are genuinely taking the long way down. Okay, there we go. So, topple. Okay, that's a timer from that one. Oh, okay, apparently we've got a second one. Not bad. Not bad 
Okay, anyway, we'll grab the treasure chests and head back down and around. Yes. Okay, where are you? Let's say, where are you? Where are you? Agro, okay, you've lost sight of us basically. Oh, okay, we do need to still keep going this way. Yeah, admittedly, this bit of the game just feels a bit like padding, as bad as it sounds. Just that they needed something to be able to stretch the game out and they just thought sending us here trying to get all these different items having all sorts of blockers around and then sending us around a different area it just feels like they needed to do this to get some extra game time in which is why unlike last time i've not actually changed off casual mode because i do just want to fight my way through this and get through it We do a good chunk of damage and then we should be able to get this one across. Okay, I think we'll be able to kill you before you get that off. It's only a level 5 anyway. Yep, there we go, I thought so we managed to get to defeat that one. Oh, okay, we're attacking this one, right. Uh, roly poly. There we go, shake a wedge. Um, bitey bitey. Okay, wasn't quite quick enough on that one to get another attacking from Dumban. Okay, you're going to take a while to get down here. So I am going to attack you instead. Okay. Thank you, Ricky. And there we go. Okay, combat. That done. Okay, what's this item that we are needing for a quest? Like Angel X thing and Black Styween. Okay, if I can get most of these. Uh, Sacred Panther. Yes, hello. Let's see which one's aggroed. If you leave me alone, then I will just go past and I won't murder you. Isn't that a more agreeable idea? Okay, so it was saying we needed to go back to here. Yeah. Okay, that was pointing us towards there initially. Yeah, it is pointing us towards there. Okay. There we go. I'm 
I'm presuming this is sending me in the right direction. Okay, yep, we do have a red exclamation point now. Okay, good. Okay, so we need to go past here and in central. Yeah. Fair enough on that one. Okay. So yes, I was saying earlier, I love um, how Ricky's roly poly does have a chance to uh, actually cause topple on enemies. That is such a good... Apparently we can't actually... Let's see, uh, where's the way down? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I do not have good spatial awareness. Uh, in real life or in video games. So... I'm not really good with a sense of direction either, so things like wandering, winding corridors such as this in a game just confuse me. So I apologise if anyone's sitting there kind of going, it's like, you know where it was, you were just there. Like, yeah, I'm not that good. Okay, explosive complete. So, okay, now we need to go back to where we were. Right, okay, that's why I was getting confused, because he was like, um, don't we just use the explosive to blow up the door we want to get past? Well, apparently, no, we need to send it down here, or set it down here, and then we need to go back up. Okay, right. Okay, that's got that's bad enough that I can actually see it on my main screen now. That flickering. Okay, it's obviously a loose connector somewhere. I just don't know what, and I don't overly want to try and troubleshoot in the middle of a stream, so I'm just going to press on and hope. It doesn't get too bad. But please let me know. But please let me know if it does become um, an annoyance. So then I can actually try and see if it's the connection to the computer. A factory vent. I hate these. I hate when you have to walk along pipes. Uh, whatever the ice area was, the ice mountain, there were a couple of areas I needed to go to for some side quests and that involved walking along some very, very, very narrow sections. And the amount of time I had to spend going so slowly and so carefully to actually avoid falling off was a little bit absurd. It was just a little bit absurd with all of that. Okay, so we're apparently in the heart of the Mechon Factory now. Another collectible. Hot snowball. A level sixty one.
Okay, does anyone need healing? No, everyone looks to be good for the moment. Guys are going to aggro on. Okay, I was going to say, are we going to be able to sneak by you? Apparently not. Right, okay. That is starting to flicker on my main screen. That is not going to be a good thing. So if you'll give me a couple of minutes, I will indeed investigate. So you'll just give me a moment. And I'll see if I can find what's going on. Okay, nope, that has not fixed anything at all. Oh dear. Um... Right, I'm just going to have to keep on going like this, so I do apologise. My system has just decided that it's going to just complain about all of this. Okay, where's the next one? I'll see if I can get it investigated and fixed before the next stream. I hopefully should be able to get that managed and fixed before the end of the next stream. And you are level 96. Yes, I've noticed there have been mech on around, thank you. It's like... It's like telling me about that when I've just seen them pop up. It's like, yeah, I've seen. I've seen, thank you. Okay, right, next ad break, which is going to be in about 10 minutes, I'm going to actually get up, have a stretch, and get myself a drink, just to refresh that. Okay, let's say, who needs healing? Done ban. These are so many of them swarming on me at the moment. A shield. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, we've been dazzled, toppled. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, right. This is definitely going to need a little bit more strategy now. A rush on Dunban, that's 1,075 damage. Okay, right, I think we're on the last one. I think we are on the last one now. Okay, there we go. That was a close one. Ricky feels tired. Tend to your wounds and prepare for the next battle. So that did give us a level up twenty two thousand experience points. And yes, done by an equipment because I wanted to remove all armor from you because apparently you do a lot better agility of 161 so you do have greatly increases ag agility with no armor equipped so my plus 30 percent let me just have a look so 161 yeah, I'm just basically going to give you the just topmost ones. Okay, yeah, 124 to 161. You have no physical defense or ether defense, but... <laughs> okay, the Machina Blade is the best one for you. The Nibbler, yep. So we do have a Cloud Star. Although the, yeah, Machina Star, I'll actually give that to you. And yeah, you can get a strength up. A Machina Driver is 550. Okay, I just see it there. So 600. Yep, yeah, I'll go for that one. It's got three. And uh, sorry... <laughs> actually i changed my mind the strength up four is going to rhine and lightning attack 140 uh yes okay anti mech on sniper has ether up so machina cannon get with the, that one and two more ether ups just to max that out for you and sparrow blades are still the highest attack item i've got for you So, okay, we've still got a decent amount of time to go, or decent amount of, uh... Decent amount left to pass over. Yeah. Okay, we're on the roof now. <laughs> right, we are on the roof now. And just follow the yellow dotted line. Not quite as catchy as the yellow brick road, but eh, we'll have to deal. So, up here. There's a couple of enemies, I can see them. Yep, you're all going to aggro on site. So we might as well take out the nearest one first then. Okay, you have um, spikes up. At 
that's not good when I just about notice it. Okay, now we've just got one to deal with. Try and take aggro off of us. Yep. Okay, I am keeping an eye. I'm going to keep an eye on Dumpan's health and just see how he does. So that was just one hit happened there just one hit and unlock this and hopefully we just need to go into the um big elevator see that is just the last thing we need to do so can i yep If the game's going to give me a shortcut and a way or jump down as a shortcut, I'm going to take that option. Okay, this one is probably going to be quite tricky. So try and take the aggro off. Yeah, I think a chain attack might be a good idea here. Too quick on that one. Way too quick on that one. Okay, so we want the pur purge. Okay, that one's done. Okay, we were to the side for a brief moment. Okay, as soon as I go in to try and attack that one. Okay, these ones are pretty weak. That's good. Damn it, Tim! <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate here. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Okay, right. Now we've defeated the monsters. Or now we've defeated the um, enemies. What's it? No, no, no. Don't get distracted. Do not get distracted. Okay, um, okay, the, like, it just says add starting soon. So I'm just going to, oh, there we go. Put B right back on and I will indeed be back in a couple of minutes just after getting myself a fresh drink.
just clear all that out. Yeah, at this rate, Tim, when my husband comes home and asks me how my stream went, I'm going to be saying, oh, it was fine, except that there was someone being a butt in my stream. And it's like, what were they doing? It's like, spamming sound alerts and making me jump. <laughs> Good, nice, refreshing new drink. And let's see what awaits us. I can feel the power. Okay, we're not even in the capital yet. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. We still need to actually get to the capital. Right. These transporters are eerily the same as the ones the high end here have. That's making me a little bit nervous. Those are the same transporters the high end here have. You're not dead. I see you finally decided to show up. Let's see if we can bust these rust buckets like last time. Think we can do it? We'll get them. With this many troops on our side, we don't even need Shulk's help. You're telling me you're fate. worried about the kid's schedule. Kind of so for you, Thorin. Shut up. Get moving. Division 4, defend the barrier. Division 6, assist any wounded bombs. Bring it up! I thought Square Tash had died on the attack on Colony 9. I don't remember seeing him anywhere else. I thought he died. That idiot. He'll get his head knocked off at this rate. Ha! Keep it up! Show everyone the power of the Jopon! Go, Jopon, go! Fight like a hero upon Ricky! <laughs> it appears we have gained the upper hand. Sire, if we hold our current position, a great victory is within our grasp. It is still too early to come to that conclusion. The enemy still has hidden forces. Your Highness, enemy reinforcements approaching from above. It's a face squadron. They're here. Divisions one to three, continue supporting the Homs and encircle the faces. Your Highness, think of yourself. Once the Vanguard has been eliminated, we must join the fight. Better that than die as cowards. Move! Ah. Stick this in your exhaust pipe and smoke it. Who has another taste yet? Should have stayed at home, lousy junk box. Mm. <coughs> doing rather well. I do so enjoy a good show. But they have yet to unleash their power and fulfill their true potential. Deadbeat drones, come out and face us like real machines! I'll sort out the lot of you scum! You didn't get me that time, Tim. You did not get me that time. Okay, right, I'm just taking a quick moment just to go through and just have a look at um, some other games. 
just in case I need to switch over for whatever reason. I swear I should have Slime Rancher 2. Is that actually genuinely not available on the PC version? Feels like you're reading cringe Chinese manga. Oh, come on. It's not that bad, is it? It's not that bad. Okay, right. Either way, I do have a game. Okay, I do have a game or two ready just in case I need to come through and abruptly change if my switch starts um, suffering a bit too much. <laughs> You're determined to break this system, aren't you, Tim? I am going to continue on with the story and the gameplay. <laughs> so this is the Maconis capital? Yes, Agniratha. The heart of the Machina civilization. It looks so desolate. Like there are no signs of anyone living here. It truly is a soulless city. Here, bad place. Ricky want to go. So the Machina built this whole city. Not too shabby. It looks like the buildings have been here for a very long time. Look, Shulk. Dino beast. Dino beast eat city. A dino beast? Here. But how? It is a Telethia. It looks like it's stone. Why would there be a Telethia in a place like this? The fossilized Telethia are what remain of the beasts that attacked the capital in the ancient battle. And why did the Telethia attack your city? Wasn't the ancient battle only between the Bionis and the Mechonis themselves? The answer to your question can be found in that tower, the data center. It is better that you see with your own eyes. Only then will you truly understand what happened between the Bionis and the Mechonis. Hmm. Ugh, okay, yeah, this is... <laughs> okay, that is pretty much unusable for me. So I'm going to have to have a look. And probably pause just where we are. And I think... I think, okay, I'm just going to... Okay, one, two, one, two, testing, testing. That is now coming through both sections. Yay! <laughs> oh boy, if one thing isn't working, it's another... Or if one thing is working, it's another thing that's not at the moment. Anyway, we need to head into Xenoblade Chronicles. So let me actually just get that started up because I am running a little bit off because... It's quarter past nine in the morning in the UK. I could not sleep in, so I just thought, yeah, you know, why not? I'll just get up, do all this stuff, and I can maybe get a little bit more stream time in today. We see, it will just depend on how everything goes. May or may not be doing an eve or an afternoon stream. Uh, that is wanted. Basically, I'm trying to look for the little post-it notes I have and trying to find where I put those. Of course, the thing is, I toss them somewhere because I thought, oh yeah, that would be nice and logical. Uh, no, it was 
it is not nice and logical for my brain it's not there either there yeah okay i have no idea where i put those um okay right i'll forget that for the moment and we will head into xenoblade chronicles so last time i left off because i was getting a little bit of graphical glitching which we can see okay yeah that is back again okay i'm just gonna have to push through it because otherwise we are never going to finish this game if it keeps up so we got to Agniratha last time so we actually managed to get to the Maconis capital so we now need to just see what's going to happen here and of course we did just see this um fossilized telethia as well just have a look collectopedia okay yep yeah, we do have oh we actually picked up everything in the central factory then uh blue root okay i'm doing going to do my best to try and remember which ones were items that we needed to keep with us black styrene no that was no we can put that there good blood oil uh warrior screw no i don't remember that one angel engine x yes sacred panther no i don't recall that one being needed and parts noble so how many angel engine x's do we have one but we need a second one anyway didn't we and of course some of these i am very very suspicious that we need to actually trade for them so that may not be completed on the televised playthrough or lack of a better word just simply because it might require a new game plus or it might require me to presuming if the game actually lets me presuming if the game actually lets me continue when the credits roll and doesn't just give me the option for a oh come on you're not gonna let me explore boo that's me not letting me explore. I've been exploring the whole time. Oh dear. Okay, so, right, so this is just lore rather than something that we need to do in sequence. Some mech on our to control and ignoring that they must be neutralized. Ugh. Great. Yeah, this honestly is just busy work. So this no is not law. This is side quests. Okay, so we're going to need to defeat some Telethia. So we're definitely going to need to have Shulk in the party for those then. Okay, you don't actually have anything for me. Oh, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realise that was a shop. I was just automatically, it's like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Just keep going, keep going. So speed goggles. Uh, ether goggles with debuff resistance. That could be interesting. Arts heal. Aggro up. Honestly, I'd rather actually go for the attack two goggles. And a Ryan cap is that useful for anyone? Um, not really, because obviously, um, Dunban. Why am I blanking on names today? Dunban does not actually use armor anymore. Okay, so Ether two frame with attack plus five. 854 but damage heal the two frame and then look 
anything better there? Nope. Okay, ether two arms. Go up or attack arm. Strength up. Good footing. I'll go for good footing. These thing. Okay, so ether boosters. Ether up plus two. Yeah, ether boosters. Fine. Then, ooh, okay, we are getting some stuff here. So that is Taurus Cressius. And Taurus Cressius L. Okay. Interesting. Tardro. Apparently, we might be already wearing that. And Orion Shoes and Taurus Greaves. Okay, none of those then. Some more stuff we need there. And this one, and then I'll very, very quickly, very, very quickly, I will change your equipment. We still don't have any better weapons. So you wanted attack goggles, ether two frame. Okay, so these are somewhat better upgrades to what we've been giving you then. Okay, maybe I should have actually checked. So ether boosters two plus six and forty two. Okay, yeah, I would have gone for those anyway. Oh my goodness, you do look interesting. Speed, oh, attack. Soloists, not really. Uh, okay, so soloists one, soloists two. Yeah, seriously, I have no idea what that actually changes because it doesn't look like it's doing anything. So anyway, soloists. Yeah, I guess we're doing that for her design then. I might as well just put soloists cowling to there because I have no idea what it's actually going to do. Either way, we need to go down here and do a bit more work. So I would ask how everyone's Saturday morning has been so far, but it's only been morning for like half the world at this point <laughs> because I'm up so early comparatively speaking for myself anyway i am not usually up this early on a weekend <laughs> hey so data center what's going to I don't like that. Glowing red eyes. Hopefully this is just Lady um, Maynette helping us out and this isn't going to be an ambush.
Oh.
Okay, well, that was uh, quite the um, plots. Um, that was uh, quite the story plot that that just dumped on us. So it was basically the Maconis defending itself from the Bionis, Bionis's attack. And unlike what I had thought, which was that once the Bionis and Maconis had stopped moving, only then did life emerge. No, life was already there from the very, very beginning. Okay, I'm just going to try and sneak my way past as many of these Mekon as I possibly can. Okay, that's not going to work here. Because... Yeah, I am really starting to lose patience when it comes to all of these. Like, oh, you need to go and defeat all of these. You need to defeat all of those. It's like, just let me get past for once. Seriously, it's like you didn't need to make the game do all of this and require me to run back and forth trying to figure everything out. It's, seriously, you could have made it a lot easier or a lot more engaging to head around all of these areas. Rather than just, oh yeah, you need to do this. You need to un go here to unlock this to get to that. I don't know if that's just my own opinion or if other people over the years have thought on it. But yes, casual mode and just try avoid as many battles as I can. Because this is just starting to grate on me. Okay, and there's an item that we are going to need for one of the side quests at some vague point. Okay, Calcross Pillar. So hopefully we should run into more Mechons. Uh, be able to use just a quick travel point to go back to the main section and then we can continue from where we were. Come on then. Okay, I'm not quite at the side for that one. And up some more. Yeah, like I said, hopefully we'll... Hmm. Okay, there we go. Did not want to do that one, wanted to do that one. Okay, so that one is nicely defeated. And need to still go up a little bit more. Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. Okay, so first control platform. That's activate one out of four. Okay, and then okay, yep, we can just come back down here and then we can given the direction for. Okay, it looks like we need to go past that pillar or back where we were. So maybe I should have actually paused and waited for a small bit. 
there's probably going to be all of the mechon have full spawn. We're not going to aggro on site, so we can hopefully just sneak past you. But we're not going to be able to sneak past you. Ah, screw it. We'll just head by. Just try and ignore them as best as we can. And just basically tell you or ignore you and just run on by. Okay, and now we need to go over here. Yeah, they will lose patience soon enough. So we are continually aggroing them as we go by. Is not the best solution, but. Okay, there we go. So they've stopped aggroing against us. This is probably where we need to go for the next pillar, I would imagine. So we do have quite a few mech on guarding this one, as we can see. So we will need to fight through these ones. There's no way we're going to be able to just run past. There's too many and there's going to be more above. So we need to just get rid of them as quickly as we can. and okay so that one's defeated and get rid of you okay so Ricky did find something I did hear his um oops on that one Yeah, we've got another um, mass-produced face mech on here that we need to fight. So let's do Buster. And let's do Shadow Eye, actually, for this one, just to get the aggro off us. There we go, on the side. And, okay, too late on that one. But I can still do a side attack. And the regular stream edge hasn't done anything. Okay, yeah, you're going to be down in a sec. There we go. But stained face, that's an interesting. Hello. Well then. Yeah, chain attack. Indeed, chain attack time. So stream egg, um, bitey bitey, uh, topple, then we can do shaker edge, though unfortunately you have, or you now have spikes so we need to do a purge, and another shaker edge, yes. And there we go. Level 63. We're getting up there. We are leveling. We are getting up there. Okay, here we go. Second control platform. Activation. Done. I didn't check the numbers, but I swear that probably almost gave us as much experience or more experience than actually defeating that um, mass produced face mech on. Of course, it is interesting to note in that. Okay, well, the mass produced faced mechon, we obviously know that they're made of people. Soylent Green is made of people. But it's like all of this stuff about not wanting to harm homs and such. And yet, we are just going past and defeating all of these face mechon with no thoughts about it. And we are honestly just cutting our way through all of the face mech on. Okay, the way that one was trembling, I was worried that that was going to explode on us and do some damage just after the battle.
Okay, Shadow Eye and Strategy Side Attack. And then we can do a Back Attack. Side Attack again. And another one to lower physical damage or continue that debuff. Okay, and Stream Edge. There we go. Okay, so do we need to go up or down? Question. Well, either way, whoops, we just ran into another one. Okay, come on, Shadow Eye. Side attack. Back attack and shake a wedge. We are going to be taking damage from all of this, but we should have high enough HP to just tank it in defeat. There we go. More than enough damage to take it, tank it. So yeah, when we get to Eagle, Eagle. It's Egil. Once we get to Egil, I am going to be turning off casual mode and we are, if there is a battle, we are going to be doing that at normal difficulty. So it's not just going to be a push through things, we are going to have to do. Okay, this one we need to go, okay, gotcha. But there is going to be strategy and potentially um losing if there is a big battle there as opposed to this where i'm just slashing through all of the enemies as we go past just because i want to get through them all okay come on then let's just do some damage okay almost got that one down there we go Okay, about half HP left now. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look on the affinity chart. Party. Let's have a look okay you are still neutral with everyone else i don't think i'm going to be able to get this up i don't think i'm going to be able to get these up as much as i'm thinking yeah and okay okay right there is a pass there is a clear pass through this I was just trying to figure that out. But, um, are you trying to tell me to go through here? But there's no... Oh, this one's named an exterminator. That's an interesting... Okay, I'm keeping the shaker edge just in case someone manages to topple. Okay, that's electrical discharge. Pushed us away. Okay, I was going to say we need to probably do a chain attack, but we are uh, peekaboo. Yep. Uh, shake a wedge. And bitey bitey. Um. Yeah, I have no idea if that actually does any would do anything. Okay, that was completely unnecessary. Yeah, nah, we don't need a chain attack, we're almost done. Okay, what did we get here that we need? New part L's. Okay, that's fair enough. 
new part M. Okay, you're going to be annoying, aren't you? A Cleas pillar. This should be the fourth one, shouldn't it? Shadow Eye. Tail slash, do that. Backslash. Okay, we weren't. We were behind it, and then we weren't. Okay, where's that face? Ah, it's coming up from underneath. Okay. And uh, now it's retreating. Basically, it took too much time between. No, that's not. Go. That took too much time between aggro wing and then. And actually moving up and getting all the stuff. Okay, quest complete. Now we need to head over to that control panel or the teleporter thing, anyway. Okay, so it's telling me around here. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Uh, nope, we don't need to go down there. We don't need to fight that face mech on any again. Good to know. Try and stay out of aggro reach. Oh, and there's a chest here we look got. I think that was the third one we actually needed. Yeah, I do like sneaking up on these and just doing a little bit of extra damage before the battle starts. Yeah. An easy victory. Up. Uh Main statue. Yep, okay, I can see her. Um oh, no, that was not what I wanted to do. Ah uh, that was not what I wanted to do at all. Good news is, casual mode, we are just slicing through all of these. Okay. Okay, you are named. So we do need to be... Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult because we are on casual mode, I say, with absolutely zero confidence in any of that. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Yes, I know that I'm going to go and heal. I was about to go and heal him. Okay, speed. Okay, we've all been toppled, unfortunately. There's no way to get up before time's out that I'm aware of. Okay, I'm going to heal Dunban again. Phew. Okay, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do was go over here and examine. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, we need to defeat all of these because we need to go past them. Yeah, stop moving around. I'm trying to arrange an attack. It doesn't work if you keep moving around and I can't actually attack you properly. Eh? Nope. Didn't think we'd be able to sneak past this one, but I had to try. Okay, come on. Take the aggro off me, someone else. Come on. Uh, Buster, no, I wanted Purge. Oh, well, that's almost defeated it anyway. We are getting over 6,000 experience here. Hello. Named Monster. Named Mechon. Lurgy. Couple. Okay, we didn't actually get the option to continue the chain attacks on. But I can come over here and... Okay, nope. They didn't do that in time, unfortunately. Did not manage to do that in time. Okay, I didn't even need to do a single attack against that one. Yank. Three out of Okay, is that all there? That is indeed all there, so we need to head down. Okay, 3,000 for that one. I guess probably because we are getting up to parity slash above their levels. Yeah, 1,200 for that one at level 61. Tests. Okay, I could have actually just, um, I could have just done that the whole time. I could have just done that the whole time. Oh, well. Oh, right, okay, that's why these still got exclamation marks, because they were going to give us a lot more quests. Okay, let's just grab all of them. Okay, you're done. I didn't realise. I completely forgot about that one. But it exclamation mark means it's going to keep giving you quests. Okay, you're done. Grape Springs, okay. Right, anyway. Now we can head up. Now we can head up. Wow, okay, we're going fairly high in this one then. 
There we go. Right, data center. You have to admit that is a pretty view though. You have to admit that is a pretty view. So that's where we need to go next. So you're just trying to see if there's an pass. Well, let's just skip to the central tower back again. Aha, there we go. There we go, it's up around here. If we go to the third control platform, that should give us a better indication. Yes. There we go. That's... Okay, apparently you haven't seen us. Oh yeah, because we are behind you. Now we don't need a chain attack, we've got this without issue. Okay, oh. Okay, yeah, that's coming up from below again. Those face mechons aggro on like... Seriously, they aggro on the widest range when we actually get a fight up. When we get a battle up. Seriously, aggro on the highest. Okay, so we're level parity with this one, so we'll have to see how much damage or how much experience we actually get from it. Three thousand, okay. Not spectacular, but you know, not too difficult, not too bad. Okay, named one. Okay, yep. I am going to deal with the minions, for lack of a better term, first. Just keep an eye on Dunban's health. Okay, see you. There we go. Okay, anything, anything. Buster. Uh, did a decent amount of damage. We can do side attacks. Okay, what's this warning us about? Okay, so we need to shield. Unfortunately, we don't have the shield charged up enough. So let's just do a heal instead. There we go. Perfectly healed. Perfectly fine. Okay, that monster gave us almost 11,500 experience. That one almost gave us 11,500. Named monster two levels above. Okay, as far as I can see, 
back on around here. Just straight up because it doesn't look like there's any collectibles either. So shrine transporter. Made our way successfully. Oh, I've got to change the difficulty. Oh, well. Oh, it's Gado, not Egil. Okay, I can actually change casual mode off here now. Good. Okay. Right, so I want to change the party around. I think I want Sharla in. As bad as that's going to sound. I know as bad as that is going to sound. Hey, right, you finished with that tree, so we can set you onto that one. You finished with that tree, so we can set you onto this one. So we have, yep, yeah, it's Ricky, still EXP with Yoik, and share it with the party. Finished with that one, so. Do I? I think Zeal. Yes, we'll do Zeal. okay and we need to be very very careful and strategic here so we want speed Yeah, so I apologise if I'm not going to talk too much on this one, but it is going to need quite a lot of strategy. Okay, yeah, this is definitely one where we need to do the combo chain attacks because otherwise we are not going to get any statuses or major damage off. Okay, so that's decent. So he's now dazed, which means... We should be able to get a few free hits off. Oh, yes, like that. Indeed, like that. We are unstoppable, for we are one. Perfect in body and mind. You don't have to do this. Look at Fiora. She found herself again. Wherever you are, you must still feel pain. Absurd. 
Well then finish us off. Shala and all. We all saw you miss a second ago. Ain't you supposed to be a crack shot? Or did that pile of junk you call a body mess up your aim, eh? Shut your mouth! Stubborn idiot. That was your last <laughs> chance. He's not giving up. The stories about Gatto of Colony 6 are true. Except, he still can't kill her. He's missing Sharla on purpose. Gatto, you're just like I was. You can remember who you are. Gatto, please! Don't you remember me? It's Sharla! Wither and die as all life on Bionis will! Feel our wrath! I'm first, woohoo! Shulk, can you still use the Monado? Fiora? No. You're... Even after losing all living flesh, a Hom's heart will remain. It is still present within this space. Is that true? Yes. It is clear from his actions towards you. The remnants of his heart him back. Gatto. I will break the curse that allows Egil to control the faces. I need you to buy me some time. Okay. We'll try. Ryan, we've got to help Fiora. Hey, eh? Come on! Right! Okay, so um, turn two then. And of course he's got all of his uh, damage back up. So we'll start off Shadow Eye. Aha. Okay, right. But unfortunately, we do have some other enemies we need to deal with. And yeah, the um, at first woo is just so deadpan, I had to put that in. It's just so deadpan, I had to put that one in. But yeah, I hope your day has been going well, Tobias. Uh, thank you for telling me that the game audio was off. I did not intend that. Okay, so there are still a couple more defensive targets there. <laughs> Kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> I will try. Oh, I did not realise. I did not see. Okay, I'm going to preemptively shield because we are getting, having a little bit of trouble here. You need haste and, oh no, no, okay, we are getting our asses kicked here, unfortunately. Uh, no. On your last break, end in a few minutes, so have an hour left to work. I hope that hour goes by as quickly as possible. Ooh. Okay, right. Mission I'm... We'll get them next time. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, that was um, definitely an ouch. Casual mode on. Apply. Yes. Because I don't think we're going to be able to... Oh. Okay. I thought we were back right down where we needed to actually get the... um, Where we actually needed to take the transporter off. Okay. Right. I'm just going to quickly run an ad break. It's going to be one starting in about a minute and a half anyway. So I'll just quickly do that before we attempt a second time.
Okay, yep, no problem, Tobias. Thank you for the luck. Like I said, hope your last hour of work goes nice quick. Okay, just have a look then. So we need to just go and defeat Gatto. I'm and oh my god. Okay, try and defeat the side ones, the side enemies first. Okay, there we go, that one's defeated. New one, come on. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Okay, Shala. Ah, oh, no, 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 Daze. That is not good. Yes, I see it, but I can't do anything about it and I need to... Come on. Come on. And shield. Okay, that's not going to shield Dumban, but I... Does give me some time to pull back while he heals. Okay, there we go. There's two. Um, one there. Okay, what's this going to be? Linear laser. So we need to get a uh, haste up slash a heal. Okay, not quite, not quite, not quite. Uh, oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Ah. Oh goodness, okay, this is going to take a while to get through then. Level 68. Okay, he's level 68. Hmm. Okay, um, Ryan, I'm calling you in. I'm calling you in, Ryan. Okay, there we go. There's some, there's the enemies. So, yep, engage at will. Actually, no, no, focus attacks. Because then if we focus our attacks on the main one. Okay, so I need... Oh, didn't need to do that. Either way. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do a chain attack against these small ones. Okay, this is not actually doing as much damage as I thought it would do. Um, okay, where's the... Enchant! Hopefully that will actually start doing more damage now. Okay, is that actually pulling? I think that might actually be pulling. I think that might actually be pulling the aggro. Okay, let's do pain attack. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Well, oh, down topple. Yep. Oh. 
still I can do a shaker edge on it on this one anyway okay 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 we might be doing okay here now yeah Ryan can tank those attacks without too much trouble okay yeah there we go where did you go oh my goodness okay right okay okay another chain attack Okay, yeah. Just gonna have to do that metal blast. Okay, shaker edge. Wasn't quite quick enough on the. Wasn't quite quick enough to get that off. Okay, let's try a buster. Heal up Sharla. Slash. And then we can get behind, do a backslash. Which does additional damage. Get back to the side attack. Okay, and we are. Uh, are you Sharla? Do a light heal. Encourage Ryan. And around here. Can we do one more? Yes, we can! Was that you or? Mm. As for him, he'll be fine. Don't worry. okay it's all right now i'm just so happy to have you back while i was under his control i, I realized something egil once wished only to break the circle of suffering he believed that if blood is spilt now a new world will be born but something terrible happened. And now... Now... He is consumed with vengeance. Egil. Go! Get out of here! Stop them doing what they did to me! To anyone else! I promise I'll be back for you. Until then, stay safe. Drink it. You must be thirsty. Thanks. <laughs> Don't go dying on us. After we take Egil down, we'll get you looked at. You don't look like any doctor I've ever seen. <laughs> I know a good doctor nearby. She is Mackin it though. It'll do. I'll be right here. Hey, kid. What's your <laughs> name? Ryan. Do me a favor, Ryan. Take care of Sharla.
He's not going to be alive when we get back, is he? Sia, what is it? I have an unpleasant feeling. A vision? No, but something is not right. The Mekon are neither attacking nor defending. It is as if they abandoned the fight as soon as it began. Impossible. This is a key strategic position. They would never abandon it. Perhaps they have forces hidden on Mekonis. Hidden forces? Could it be? Your Highness, Shulk and the others are in danger. Will you grant me the use of a Havrez? You intend to aid them? I need you here. I did not have a vision. But nevertheless, I can sense something. The Mechonis is awakening. Okay, new art. Learn. Have a look. Oh my goodness, okay, that is actually getting pretty difficult. Okay, right, I'm just having a look to see if I can uh figure out what on earth is happening for this um Okay, give me two minutes, people. Look to figure out why this is happening. Somehow, I don't think this is going to quite be an easy fix, but let me have a look. Vice picture. Nope, that is all fine. Okay, that's actually not going to do anything because that is just recording on the standard one. A device okay right I think I'm just gonna push through it for now and then we'll have to just see how things go because there are potentially a couple of okay that is getting really really bad okay that is getting really bad Right, okay, but I'm still going to try and get through this. Yeah, I did have a quick look at actually kind of double recording it, but it just makes everything worse. Venea, where have you been? Egil, why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? We survived that battle. 
We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace. And we still can. The rage of those who were annihilated by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I... I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. You are Egil, leader of Maconis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice? Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy. Are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. <sighs> A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Eat it. <laughs> the base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your body. You are aware that ether is the foundation of them all. Yes. Ether is power. You are the source of that power. All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Mechonis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It yeah. was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose. Not I. So you attacked Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost, as you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then. You doubt my convictions, my reasons. In order to avenge my people, I have risked everything. Can you say the same? Yes, we can. To get this far, we fought long and hard. And yet, you do not fight me. Your words are useless. It is only strength that can prevail. Shulk, this whole thing stinks, but he's got a point. Agreed. Egil, leader of Maconis. The lives of the Machina and the lives of all that lives on Bionis are one and the same. We won't stop. 
Not until you realize that. Okay, right, so needless to say that's not going to uh, go quietly, so we are going to have to deal with a fight here then. Okay, so I think we'll be okay just using this one, but we need to... Be very careful. Okay, he is level 70. Right. So we are going to have to be very, very careful just in terms of... Okay, what on earth was Wine doing there? I was hoping to get Wine in and do some... Aha, okay. Okay, so there are a couple of enemies that we probably want to... Okay, come on. Okay, shield. There we go. Okay, and... Come on. They didn't quite manage to get that, but... Okay, I'm going to leave that until we actually manage to get... Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I know vision. I can't do anything while I'm knocked over. Okay, Grand Ether Bullet, so we probably need the haste on it. Come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up! Get up. Okay, shielding. That was the absolute wrong thing to do. That's given us Art Seal, so we can't actually do any major attacks now. There we go, Buster. That was not what I wanted to do, at least not against that one. Come on. Okay, that was me just fumbling there. Oh no. Um, homing missiles. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on in. Okay. There we go. That's better. Shaker Edge. There we go. That's what I was wanting. Okay, come on then. Okay, Grand Ether Bullet, so this one needs the haste thing. Okay, right, there we go. Uh, how could this happen even with the Apocrypha? 
You know, Egea. You know the reason. Hmm. The power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? And what of you, Venea? Okay, one moment. I just need to see if I can try and actually get some... Um, a, so I do have a potential solution for all of this. So let me just... Okay, so I... System settings. Uh, TV output. Okay, TV resolution. Okay, so that is just going to reboot very, very quickly. And nope, that's almost even worse. That is actually even worse. Okay. So let's continue on and hopefully let's see how that goes. You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. Interesting. You're wrong! The villagers and I, we just wanted all this fighting to stop. Egil... All we wanted was to live with you in peace. Nothing more than that. Nonsense. There will never be peace until the Bionis is destroyed. Brother! <laughs> You're blessed. It did not come deep enough. The Golden Necker. Permit me to apologize for calling you bugs just now. You proved to be a worthy adversary after all. Shulk. Oh no, now we've got to fight this thing. Level 72? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Should have gone for the head. Well, if I could control it, yes, I bloody would have gone for the head. Thank you very much. Okay, that only did 15,000 damage. But level 72. Oh my goodness, how am I supposed to do all of this? Okay, we've got time for another chain attack and honestly okay 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 we've got an ad break coming up in 20 seconds uh no let me change that uh okay no stream edge yes metal blast take a edge headshot Honestly, I know the odds of that actually doing anything are minimal to none. But hey, if I can instant kill the b big boss, then why not try? Hey, another chain attack. Okay, Shaker Edge, 10,000 damage. Okay, 
Okay, you know what? Okay. Um. Okay. Keep in mind the conditions. Days. So physical defense. Um. Ba -ba 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 Headshot. Okay, 34,854. Okay. Um, touch word. But I am getting so many chain attack or so many options for a chain attack here that we're actually not taking much, if any, damage at all. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, we've... Okay, there we go. Okay, so half damage and then he just... Um... What? Sansa's around? Where is he? achieving my dream you were the one who said we would live together lady mayneth yes mayneth the villagers everyone loved you that is why they wish to live alongside you it's all so clear now to mayneth and to me i waited until the day when you would awaken once more and create a world full of life. But you are nothing more than a traitor. To me, to all those who worshipped you, and to our fallen brethren. Please, you have to listen to me. Egil! I will not listen. Your words mean nothing. You have sided with my sworn enemy, and gods can never exist alongside mortals. Mayness! Thank you! Conis, it is I, Egil, I, your devoted servant, offer my body and mind to replace Mayneth hmm. as your new soul. Oh dear. Take my spirit and be reawakened. Maconis! Oh wait, does this mean we're actually going to be fighting as the Bionis then? Does this mean we're actually going to be fighting as the Bionis? Gado's a Homs soldier. 
He wouldn't have hung around here to die. He would have got out. Uh, all right. Right. Now come on. <laughs> okay, so where on earth are we going to end up then? I knew he wasn't going to survive past that. I knew he wasn't going to survive past that. Right, okay, for you, that gives us a moment's respite. I'm just going to save and run another section of ads. And then we'll continue on. Where are we going to end up indeed? Yes, that was very um a very, very intense battle. Very oh my goodness. I cannot believe how that was going though. I cannot believe how that was going. Okay, anyway, save. So we're now chapter 15 at level 65. So I know there's like only 34 more levels, so we can't be too far off. Actually, maybe wrapping this up. Maybe. Just have to see where we are. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> oh, are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat immediately. The Mekonis is about to awaken. Was counting on you, runt. Okay, good. We're still alive. What's happening? It's like we're floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Mayna, you have awakened once more. This light. Was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Maynath, where's Fiora? It's okay. I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young host. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, 
I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado saved us. Now he's. Huh? The Mechonis! Where's Ego? Oh, shit. Do you hear it? The awakening of the Maconis. This is my pain. The pain of my people. Echoing through the millennia. The Maconis Yes, is pretty bad. Fall to your deaths, worthless insects. Kalyan and the others are still on the sword. Our friends are going to die. Stop. I'll kill him. That murdering monster is going to pay. Alvis? Where are we? Nope. That was a close one, but we made it. <laughs> ah, yes. You are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, right, where are we and when are we heading for the Bionis? Because I get the feeling the only way we're going to defeat the Maconis is by utilising the Bionis in the same way. So you were unable to stop Egil? <sighs> Sorry, Father. I have failed you, Renea. There's no need to apologise. <sighs> So, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Eggle's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother, there is still time. Fiora? No, you're... So it is her. The Maconis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Maconis fully adapts to the ether. Egil is at the core of the Maconis. He will be controlling the Maconis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Maconis. But how are we to get there? The Maconis capital is destroyed. Father. How much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mechonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. Okay, plan made. We are heading for the Maconis core then. It's all 
most time till we finish this. Yep. Alvis can definitely read people's minds and he's getting suspicious. He is getting suspicious of Dixon. When you are ready to depart for the Maconis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Honestly, I think I'm just going to go straight there. What the? There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hands, Shulk. I know. Yep, I'm just going to go straight there. No preamble, no nothing. Okay, maybe having a look at our equipment. We do have another strength up there. And we do have an ether up. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for agility. Strength, strength, lightning, yep. Okay, none of those say that they can still hurt. So we are so we do have the macula garda and arcos pipe. No. No, I think we will just stay there. There we go. Uh no, I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm sorry. You're all set. Yep. Let's go. Benea, I am sorry. For Lady Maynard's will to be realized, I had no choice but to use your body. Even so, actually I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <laughs> Where is Lady Maynard now? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but it's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus' feelings. And I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Maynath is glad that she met you. Yeah, I know.
good news from his highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Here upon Ricky, all set! Ricky found some heads! We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Really? You're a tough old timer. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Sir, let's see who makes it through the battle. Here. Everyone ready? Ready. Anytime. Leave it to Hero von Ricky. Hey, <sighs> Shulk. What is it this time? Stop worrying and come on. The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You're talking about that apocryph, whatchamacallit thing. Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. The core is directly linked to the Apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the Apocrypha field will deactivate, allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> Looks like you'll get your wish. Something's not right. What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who devastated Mechonis. What did he mean? He was just trying to get here. I told you before, right? I haven't had any visions lately. Yeah? But I still know, if I concentrate, I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Oh, the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. <laughs> what are you on about, Shulk? Stop playing around. Oh. But how did you do that? I can't work it out. Ever since we came to Mechonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? If it's true that Zanza used the Monado to lay waste to Mechonis, then... Is it right for me to use it? Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Hmm. Shulk! Oh no. Are you sure you're okay? Perhaps. 
You are suffering this much because you put all your energy into fighting the effect of the Apocrypha. Ain't you learnt yet, Shulk? How many times do I have to tell you? If something's up, you've got to spit it out, man. I ain't just talking about visions. I mean, whatever's on your mind. All right? Mm. S sorry. Right. Don't go apologizing. It's my fault for not noticing. Let's get one thing straight. I've still got your back. Uh, thanks. No. Huh? Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Danza. This wasn't caused by the Apocrypha. It's a completely different kind of power. Shulk. What's happening to me? I know I should be glad we made it this far, but if we don't find the Apocrypha generator soon... Exactly. The fight against Egil's not going to be easy with the Monado in its current state, and we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. It's up ahead. Shulk? There's a strong energy coming from up ahead. That has to be it. Really? Yes. Then this is it. Egil's gonna be scrap metal when I'm through with him. Mm -hmm. This is definitely not looking. Gosh, I'm really not sure on any of this. Oh gosh. Anyway, we need to keep going. We need to keep going. I think, yes, I'm just going to stick with effectively my starter team. Effectively my starter team, Shulk, Ryan and Charlotte, because those three seem to just be decent ones. So McConnish Core, I'm going to say... Oh no, actually that's not, um, okay, so it's not section then. So where does the, okay, so it still considers us in the central factory then, at least for now. Okay, excuse me a moment because I can see a shiny over here, so I just want to see what this is and check. Okay, so this is an oil fox. Okay, yep, so definitely, this is definitely the right thing. Okay, let's carry on. Oh my goodness, okay, this is going to be a long path. Is going to be a long path. Okay, good thing is these have guardrails of a sort. These have guardrails of a sort. I mean, just all of this. Ow. Okay. Like there's any icon we need to fight along the route. So just keep your fingers crossed that that is going to remain true. Because oh my goodness, what level is Ego going to be when we get there? Level 75 maybe? Which to Apocrypha? <laughs> Moment. Another shiny here. It might be one of that like Angel Engine X. Um, no, Black Styrene. Okay. Fine. There we go. It's just as I thought. The Monado feels the same as it did before the Apocrypha took effect. 
No. It feels even more powerful. The Bionis Monado and this Monado, they have to be connected somehow. Because you aren't here, not anymore. Why am I remembering that dream? Why now? <sighs> Without the power, I can't stop Egil. I have to concentrate. All I have to think about is how to stop the Mechonis. If the Monado does bring about the end, then I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Fiora! Shulk, what were you thinking about? Uh, uh, nothing. So... It's like that, is it? Really, it's nothing. Listen, Shulk. If it's too hard for you to handle on your own, talk to me. Huh? Fiora. You can tell any of the others as well. We're all here for you. Don't forget that. You're right. You're here for me. Of course. And don't overdo it, okay? We all saw what happened. Is your arm okay? Yeah, it's not bad. I'll live. Oi, you two! Is something up? No, it's nothing. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shulk. <laughs> Yeah, I think Melia is a little bit jealous. This machine, is this? Yes, the Apocrypha generator. Yeah, let's trash the thing. We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. It should be. It is a miracle that you have been able to use the Monado at all. Hear that? Uh. Are you really all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Venea, we need to find Egil. The control core is directly above. It is not far. Too late. You mean the Mechonis functions have been restored? No, it can't be. Yes, you puny pests are too late. Fall back! Everyone, fall back! Gone and done it. Huh? The Mechonis has struck. Not good. I think it must have hit somewhere on Bionis. No. No. Move out! Don't forget, we've still got a job to do. Right! Uh, what? Oh, battle incoming. Hello there, Aparsin. How are you doing? Hope your day's going well. Mm, okay. I think they need to purr. Okay, alright. Okay, that's just knocked us over. That's just knocked us over. Okay, do we have any other... Okay, nope. Okay, so this is the only one we need to focus on. Is good. Okay, yeah, we can't actually attack the generators.
Well, it wasn't quite quick enough. You have to be so on the ball with the B button for that one. He did not get an option. Continue. Could be almost there anyway. Another upgrade, I guess. It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. It's amazing. Now we're talking. Next up, Egil. Can you go on? Me? I'm all right. Come on, we have to stop Egil. Back on track. Just like I said. The kid will come through. Naturally. Everything is falling into place. Hey, <laughs> you can say that again. But only as long as we remain within the margins of fate. I <laughs> know not how things will proceed from this point. Oh. Right, so we've gone completely, um... Oh, not necessarily off the rails as such, but we have, uh kind of gone beyond expectations from the sounds of it. Uh, York has just learnt Cyclone. Okay, so that's obviously a new Monado art. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, Monado's power attacks enemies all around its wielder. Okay, yeah. Let's definitely upgrade that one. Um, Enchant or Buster. Well, I'll actually upgrade Buster. So that's 7,600 7, to 8,100 more or less. And a few times damage to Mechon. So, oh my goodness. So, you worms have finally arrived. Egil! Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace! There's no reason for us to fight! You must stop this now! My reasons are clear and truer than yours. What's that? Look, it's Bionis! May the roar of the Maconis be the wrath of my people. How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? Egil, you'll regret this! Brother, stop this! You'll destroy the Bionis! Let us put an end to our torment! It ends when I say it ends! I will end our curse by destroying the world! You must realize that is not Lady Mayna's wish. 
That's why she left us her legacy, our whole world. Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need for gods. Ekil! Stop it! Face me, Shulk, successor of Xander. I'll crush the Bionic and spread its ashes across the world. Then I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then will there be peace. And so you're doing well. Thanks to the Xenoblade's character design, you're thinking about features of Armored War and Chainmail Bikini and Fiction Worlds. Well, you know what? I've actually kind of got all the female characters in probably the most, like the most covered um, armor that they actually get. So it's like, oh, let me have a look here because there were some ridiculous things that I saw with Sharla. Okay, so obviously the hair's not going to do anything, but we do have, um, like, legitimate... We have the legitimate option to just put them in swimwear. <laughs> and then there's some other things, gosh, I can't remember it, but they look fine from the front. Uh, like this one here, the middle type. It looks fine from the front. You turn it around and he's like... Yeah, that's not really doing anything. Okay, so anyway, you are... Legar type 2. Oh, except for the hair. yeah some of the things are um interesting fan service is a hidden stat plus 2000 defense you swear uh you say that um gosh what you have yes colony type uh speaking of that if you really really want to see some fan servicey things go and look up xenoblade chronicles 2 blade designs because some of those are even more absurd. Okay, can I not actually... Oh, I can't get to the side. I can't do my specific attacks. That is... Oh, wow. That is going to be painful. If I can't actually... Oh no, and we can't even do any topple or anything like that. Oh my goodness, we can't even do any stat effects on this one. Okay, so this is honestly just genuinely going to be... <laughs> ah, so you do know about Xenoblade Chronicles 2's um, blade designs then, yes. Uh, yes, some um, 18 plus artists. And of course it's like, with them, with the designs, there kind of is, at least for me, an option for a discussion between sexy and sexualized. It's kind of... Okay, what are you going to do? Bionis slash 10. Okay, I have not upgraded shield enough. I have not upgraded shield enough for that. Does infinite damage. Defeat the three energy devices. Go say, okay, where on earth are those? 
Okay, focus attacks. Aha, there it is. I was going to say, how on earth do I get there? Aha, aha, aha. Okay, I've got it. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. Come on, Ryan, I'm counting on you to revive Sharla. Okay, so long as I stay alive, so long as I stay alive. Okay, come on, energy device. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Okay, right. Try again. Try again. Ugh. Okay, right. I may have to have a look. So, arts. Yes, okay. Think I'm not sure. I've overly got different options to actually really fight. I don't think I really have the options, so we're going to have to have a look and go. But at least now I know that there is actually potentially going to be a walkway around that we can use for um, attacks. Either way, we need to keep coming down here. The generator and hopefully we'll just be able to start the battle without doing all those cutscenes again. Hey. Okay, yep. There we go. Okay, so I do want focus attacks. Okay, anyone need immediate healing? No, we are okay on that. Okay, right. So the um, this has now popped up, but we can't attack him. Okay, so we can't actually attack him like that, but we just need to make sure. Okay, so let's do Buster and follow up that follow that up with a chain attack. So honestly, we're not going to do the most damage, so let's just do sword drive. Okay, but now I know what to do. Now I know what to do. So I'll do engage at will. Just so that when we do actually get those energy items that we need to destroy, I can just go over and destroy them myself without drawing these two into it. Okay, anyone need healing? No, we look good. Buster. Okay, I was going to say... It looks like you're powering up to attack the Bioness. Okay, come on, come on, come on. If I just manage to get you out of the way. 
There we go. So that's done. So then I can come back in here. Okay, one energy device device done. Heal, heal. Now come on, run, move. Jesus. Okay, there's no way I'm... How am I supposed to defeat this? Shift over, hope you're having fun. Love hearing the drama from the dialogue. Oh, you mean like um, me going, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Yes, we do need to do this. That kind of stuff. Okay, so long as I can keep myself. <laughs> okay, well, we've destroyed. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Hello, Bash was taken. Oh, this battle. Yes, and you can probably tell that it's absolutely kicking my ass at the moment. <laughs> Hello, and welcome in. It's incredible. I mean... <laughs> I mean, in terms of the actual impact and the fight itself, it is actually, it does look genuinely good. Um, okay, let me just have a look. Party. Okay, Ricky, I'm pretty sure you have... Okay, let me actually just see what you have um uh, okay restores hp the more debuffs the more hp restored so we do have that one build the party gate the bigger you are the harder you fall i mean that could be fun okay, burning eight bedtime freezing eight behave lurgy we love the hero pawn yes so let me actually just see how many of these oh okay i can upgrade at least a couple of them anyway hero time yes you can do it indeed we will max that one out roly poly lurgy okay i'm not quite sure this is overly going to do much but mm. Counter all non-talent art damage by dealing... Okay, right. Actually, Wiki is angry might be a very, very good one. Okay. Right, increases a stat at random. The side effect confuses mech on. Obviously, I definitely want to keep Worldly Poly there. Um, okay, actually, I'm going to change that one out for uh, Wiki is Angry, and then I'm going to level that one up just as much as I can. Okay, apparently, as much as I can is only four levels, but let's try with that. Let's try with Shulk, Ryan, and Ricky. Uh, correction, here upon Ricky. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness, uh, this may obviously take a while to actually complete. I'm getting better, I'm getting further. Last time I didn't even manage to defeat the or destroy the orbs before it finished. And I think if this doesn't work, I'm going to swap out Ryan with Sharla. Okay, right, right. Oh my goodness. 
Wow, okay. Right, that was uh, slightly unexpected. Okay, so it's about half of the HP left. Yep, no problem, Tobias. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Yeah, level defense, our uh, level difference is probably not going to help, I will admit that. Okay, there we go. So they should still be on. Um, so, ouch. Okay, that was even worse. Okay, thank you, Ricky. Okay, come on. Okay, I don't think my method of trying to attack all of these and getting them out of the way is going to work that much. Nope. Hmm. Right. Okay, I'm going to quickly see what side, side quests I have. Okay, so quest log. Oh, I've actually still got all of these. So it could probably actually be worth going back and maybe fighting all of those. Uh, game never tells you. Level difference is a secret stat that directly affects agility. Enemies around six plus levels high will never miss and your attacks will miss most of the time. Ah, okay. Right, um, I may have screwed myself then. I may have screwed myself because it doesn't actually look like I can go back and do, like, anything. <laughs> but like I said, okay, we're going to swap out for Sharla. And hopefully Ricky can tank everything. If not, I may just be, um headbutting against this boss and trying to get small little bits of experience. I may just be bashing my head against this boss and getting small little bits of experience to try and level up. Oh dear. <laughs> At least the music's nice. At least the music's nice and it's nice and pretty to look at. You will perish at my hand. Yeah, the problem is it doesn't look like... Oh! Thank you. Uh, sorry, got distracted a little bit there. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not quite sure I can actually go and fight a bunch of enemies. Because it doesn't look like I can actually travel. At least not outside of this area. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy that. <laughs> wow. 
So, do we have another Twiwi fan then? So, we've got another Twiwi fan following me <laughs> from the sounds of it. <laughs> Love to see your fellow JRPG fan. Yes, though, I admit I'm. I wouldn't necessarily say I go for the more unconventional ones, but generally, if I'm asked what my favourite, like whether I'm Final Fantasy or Legend of Zelda, my answer is Tales of. My answer is the Tales of series. That's just who I am. <laughs> and you're a fan of any Twiwi fan yourself. Well, okay, I have to ask. Favourite character? Oh no, we've just been toppled. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay. Shield, I'm not 100% sure that's going to actually do anything, but let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Your favourite is Joshua. He's a little trash goblin and he's a shoe in his mouth. He's my little meow meow. Okay, no. I can't because I've just been knocked out. <laughs> and am I excited for the Tales of Symphonia remaster? You do not know how excited. Seriously. You do not know how excited. Tales of Symphonia was my first Tales of game. And it's being remastered. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. Now all I need, all I need is every single Tales of game that's ever been released anywhere, even the Japan only ones, I need every single Tales game that has ever been released all the way up to, what is it tales of oh whichever the new newest one is that um they tried or they wanted to change the formula up with okay so you need to know Z kratos or zelos i'm sorry it's got to be zelos it's zelos for me you have i'm envious you have a couple of the japan only ones because you live in japan I'm envious. Uh, it won't be any use for me because I do not know Japanese. So I buy them and I just look at them. I just look at the pretty pictures because I would not know the story. Yeah, I mean, obviously I feel sorry for Zelo. Uh, I feel sorry for Kratos. But I just have... I just have more affinity for Zelos than anyone. <laughs> so I know for, uh, gosh, I remember when I first played it, I actually knew that there was an option for Zelos to actually leave your party. And I was just, no, please, no, I don't want to lose him. Tales of the Abyss. Yes. Yes. I had that one on the 3DS for a while. And all three we on modern consoles. Vesperia, Symphonia and Abyss. I need to get through Vesperia. Uh, because it came to the Switch, I rented it out on that console. I rented it out and then... Sorry, I need to concentrate here. <laughs> yes, uh, anyway.
big damage time. Uh, 7,000. Yeah, that's like a quarter of what I've been doing. Okay, the good news is this is going to hit us, but but we will be able to tank it. Okay, right, I'm going to take a risk. I am going to take a risk. Yep, there we go. I thought it might happen. Yes, I know. Thank you. Okay, I was going to say, I can't see if there's any other ones, but they seem to be... Okay, thankfully that is doing some damage. So I apologise, but I do need to try and focus on this because we are actually... We are actually almost there and I apologise as well because there is an ad break coming up, but I need to focus on this and just get it completely down. I just need to com do this and get it completely down. Oh, come on. No, no, no. No topple. No topple. No topple. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. No! Get up! Ah, come on! Ah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yay, yay, yay. There we go, there we go. I oh, know, this is actually going to take a while, isn't it? Oops. Whoops. <laughs> Chain damage, zero. Yay. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get up. Run. Okay, good. This is just a standard one. Shield bash. Yes, we'll just... Okay, good, good, good. Okay, it's not going to attack us. And we're actually still, we're actually doing very well. Full health now. Come on, move, move, move. There we go. Come on. Okay, I'm going to preemptively heal. I'm going to preemptively heal. Drop controller. I did it. Incredible. Whoa. Shock. Don't do it. How could this happen? Uh oh. Strike him down. I will. I'll kill him. A thousand times. Okay, yes. yeah. Finish Who is that in your head? End it. it is what you want. Yes. I want to. I'll 
kill him. For Fiora. For the Emperor. For my home. You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap you of brain. You kill a hog, Mr. Beatus. Megil, that once wished only I to break the circle of suffering. Until I've he scrapped each and blood. every one of you! Mena, the villagers, yes. everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished it. to live alongside End you. It. The wait it's is so what you clear. want. To Mena, and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! No! Rosa! Oh, that was close. Oof. Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know. But I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then, I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade, and I'll do it, over and over again, until we understand each other, okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well, but do you honestly believe you are its master? Conis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace. So what changed then? Without hatred or strife. Egil, why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Mekonis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Mekonis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds. Worlds we have never imagined. By strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Egil, I wish to see... That the people of Bionis and the people of Mekonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas. Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Mekonis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. So is that the Mekonis corrupted people, or...? One day, it took control of my friend, became Zanza. It was Arglas possessed by Zanza who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? 
The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Maynard? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Oh no. no. Um Dixon? You shouldn't have done that, little brat. Excuse me, I'm going to need to take some time to process, like, all of that. Right, okay. Um, right, what I was saying before I had to concentrate for the huge battle. So, uh, Tales of Vesperia. Yes, I played it on the Switch because I um, have access to a rental service in the UK. So I rented it on Switch just to see how it was. And then I did buy it for the PC, but I still need to get through it. So I still need to get through it. Um, Tales of Symphonia Remake Remaster. Um, Parson, did you say something about that as well? Uh, excited for some releases. Won't be available here. Not counting whether or not I'll be available in this place in life by the time they come out. Well, let me say, I hope they are. And I hope that you still are around and available to get them. Stalk, human embodiment of a gentle understanding cat. Such a good protagonist. Yes. And you love how little we know about the giants yet. Yeah. All I know is that at one point there existed giants and then telethia but then we got homs nopon and high entia and then apparently dixon's just got shulk for some reason and zanza is the mechonis uh zanza is the mechon and they possess any bionis being for uh, something <laughs> Dixon honoring his name yes Dixon why why old man are you completely out of your mind ah, don't you kids ever shut up I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Egil? Too long. Huh? Zanza's... Disciple. Zanza's Disciple? Eagle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. The moment of Lord Zanza's return. Shulk! Get away from him! No! Ah! Zanza! 
This guy, Sansa. Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ossi Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead. That's impossible. We grew up together. You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. Huh. Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then... Shulk's ability to use the Monado. And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that grunt Gado's miserable demise. All of it. You evil... Yeah! <laughs> There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Mayneth. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh.
Well, it's half right when. Shul could put their differences aside. Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right, now! Yeah! How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned. Finally unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided. Will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Okay, stuff's getting real now with Latin chanting. You choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself. Then I choose to fight. To fight for them. We won't let you erase everyone's futures! This battle is mine, Maynard! Okay, right, so level question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, double blade. Okay, I think, I think... I think this is going to be a battle that we intend to lose. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not a bot. The reason why it was so early is because I couldn't sleep. I could not sleep myself, so I thought it was like, oh, I don't have anything better to do. I might as well just get up and... Um, I might as well just get up and stream. Moral of the story, do not trust anyone. Even yourself, yes. It definitely looks like that. Okay, do I have... Yes, I do have debuffs. Uh, damage output, really good. Barely taking in damage, I think you're going to be fine. Uh, 
And yes, yeah, so all of the Monados look so awesome. Such a fool. This is what I wish. This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. Okay, is that the reason why I was absolutely failing to find any good new weapons for Fiora? Oh dear. You just remembered what happens next. Uh oh. your feelings leave it to us we know what we must do we will do all we can for the people of Laconis Okay. Yes. Good. 
good. It still works. Mm. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go. Thundern? What about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone. Goodbye, my brother. Okay, no shulk. Okay, no shulk. It's a good thing then that I have actually um been using a couple of other characters then. I'm going to move you two in. So Melio, Ryan and Fiora. It's a good thing I have been playing the game with a few other characters let me just say that so i think before we go into the next section i'm going to take a bit of a break and i'm just going to let a couple of ads run so you may or may not see these but i will be back shortly
Right, okay. <laughs> oh my god, the BRB sticker. <laughs> yeah, I have a couple of them. I've got a couple. <laughs> uh honestly they were posted to twit uh to twitter as just like uh v cheaper assets and i saw them and i went yes i need that i need post-it notes that i can just stick on my head <laughs> be right back thing so melia is the best i love her I'm so happy you went to melia as leader strongest character and also my favorite it is good to know so um I came into Xenoblade not actually knowing that much, but two other things that I did know was one, that Shulk uh, is not great when controlled by AI, and two, Melia is not great when controlled by AI. So if I'm in a situation where I need either of them, I tend to put them as the leader so I can control them. And watching a British person play Xenoblade, you feel fully immersed. Shulk is really feeling it, yes. <laughs> so that's actually one of the things that really enlightened me to Xenoblade was the fact that it was a British cast and I just love the story all behind it. Okay, so do we need... Okay, so I think this is just a straight shot back again as well. Hello there, Toxica. Yes, I am streaming a bit early. <laughs> Hello, but how are you doing? Hope your morning's been going well so far. Yeah, honestly, it's like woke up at 7 to take my morning tablets, tossing and turning until like about 8.30. And then I went, okay, you know what? I'm just going to get up. I'm just going to get up and I'm just going to start streaming. I got nothing better to do with my time. And yeah, Shulk and Melia are 100% not good AI members. Yes, because obviously... Oh, try and not fall off. Uh, obviously, Shulk, with all of his Monado skills and everything, you can't really rely on the AI to accurately and appropriately use the right one. And Melia's... And I know Melia's is all about kind of getting um, the ether, like the summon aqua, summon vault, summon fire, whatever it's all called, and then balancing them out. Um, so, Toxic Eye, you have no idea. Twitch notifications wake you up. So, I was streaming, so now nah, she isn't streaming right now. I went to take a 15 minute nap and here you are. Well, I'm sorry, but honestly, okay, you have missed a tiny bit. So, uh, we had quite a few revelations that occurred, but hopefully by the time we actually get to the final area, we will know or we might get a bit of a recap. Uh, am I thinking of playing Xenoblade 2 and 3 in the future? Um, yes, so I started this up on the schedule oh there's a second angel x we needed good though i don't think we can actually complete that quest anymore oh well <laughs> i don't think we can complete that quest anymore but oh well <laughs> uh yeah actually let me see what arts i have so i've got yeah bolt flare ice or aqua and then i've got ice and earth Oh no, I've got earth and wind over here. Uh, let me actually have a look at summon ice. Reduces. Okay, and wind does agility. Aqua is HP re regeneration. Okay, yeah, if I'm going to go all in, then I'm going to go all in. So I'll put that one there. That was not what I wanted to do. And then if I swap those two around, so it's all kind of in some order, because I must need them in order. Oh, and I can upgrade summon copy as well. Uh, and um, so yes, as I was saying, I did in, or I started up Xenoblade Chronicles 1, and my thought process was basically... Okay, I'm going to play the first game because I've not, like, this is my first time playing 
the series. I'm going to see how the metrics are, see how people enjoy it. And then the plan is to continue with the other games as well. So I'm going to be taking a break because big, long, epic RPGs, big, long, epic strategy games. I kind of need something a bit lighter and more refreshing. So we're going to be having a bit of a break with probably like some roguelikes or some um like more chill casual games before i head into the next one which i'm actually going to be doing xenoblade chronicles x next is the plan i know it's the kind of side spin-off one but to be honest i get the feeling with monolith sauce saying that they have finished with like or with xenoblade chronicles 3 they said they were finishing up with like this story I'm waiting for Xenoblade X to get a port to the Switch and then that to be the next trilogy series. But yeah, so Stream Elements has thankfully just popped up a bunch of my links. So if you want to bash, you can come in and join the Discord and geek out with me about uh, JRPGs and the like. And also, apparently I don't actually have my YouTube channel there. But I do have a complete play playthrough of Neo The World Ends With You on my YouTube archive channel. So you can check that out as well. Uh, will do. Okay, I look forward to seeing you and chatting with you there. So, shall we go back to the village? Uh, yep, let's just continue on and hopefully I can push through and finish this up. Well, I still have a reasonable time to actually go and get uh, lunch. <laughs> Stubborn mortals. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives. Even when there is no hope for you. Of course, I'm seeing all this destruction and I'm just going, like, okay, what's going to happen to where everyone lives? Just what's going to happen to where everyone lives? Well, is that good or bad? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. Yes, it is, Toxicite.
been like this ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Egil said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple. Dixon of the Trinity! And yes, Toxica, his name really is Dixon indeed. And this is the part of the game where things just keep happening. There's no rest in between. Honestly, at the moment, I'm preferring this to all the stuff I had to do on the Maconis, where it was like, go to this section. Oh no, this is broken. You need to do this detour. Oh, by the way, you need to fight three dozen Mekon, by the way, to fight your, or to get between there. And then you need to activate this thing. And then you need to go back to where you originally were. <sighs> Level, okay, 70. Okay, ice. Uh, wind up. Okay, is that three are the only ones I can do? Right, okay. Okay, so that was uh, strength up. Okay, I don't need regeneration, at least not at the moment. Okay, apparently I can only use that then. Spear break, fine. Break. No, okay, that's not going to do any effects. Okay, get a regeneration up. Yeah, one thing, admittedly, that I have a um. A complaint on. Okay, hopefully that's got some regeneration up. Is the HP bar going up or going down? <laughs> you waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? <sighs> Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you alright? <laughs> Here comes the cavalry! in the back is this true Dixon this ends here your Telethia are no match for our Havre squadron you cannot win <laughs> maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me <gasps> looks like you've forgotten your destiny right Lurathea Oh no. Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this flight? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high emptia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorothea! Awaken, my darling pets! What? Um.
Oh, that is gross. That is gross. Yes, body horror indeed. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself. It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into telepia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. If she doesn't have that gene. Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a telepia, it just means you're going to get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pet. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. of our people the burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye these moments are to be treasured <laughs> Mm. Right, okay, so that would sort of explain why the Telethia can use foresight and see what attacks you're going to make unless you use purge with the Monado. Video games are good. Yes, they are. Uh, so what if your entire people were actually a eugenics project created by literal god that turns you into white cells? I'd call this more cancer. I'd actually say, like, everyone who's fighting against this are the white cells, and the eugenics pro uh, thing is... I'd say the eugenics part is cancer. The telepia can read minds. Mind you, so can... Um, Alvis can't he so he's the last one who's been doing some sneaky stuff in the background that we've yet to see and of course I'm just waiting for Lorathea to be forcefully turned into a Telethia but also 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 so the High Entia the High Entia were performing kind of are trying to encourage evolution by having the leader, the ruler, 
have one high entier consort and one Homs consort, so they were breeding in Homs genes. Was that solely to get rid of the gene that turns them into Telethia, or was there for something else? Alvis is sexy, you'll only say that. Okay, right, well. Anyway, overwrite the save data. Not evolution, but a fail safe. Okay. Space! I love space! Oh. So I'm... <laughs> what was I doing? What was the purpose of my life? Do I need to be reborn as Zanza? Here you go, Toxicite. A nice, nice, quick um, flash forward of all the scenes just to get you caught up. <laughs> no. I've got it wrong. I was never alive. Thank God for anime flashbacks. Yes. All along. Everything I did was... Do you want to say... pointless? <gasps> that voice... <gasps> Nobody <laughs> else <laughs> can decide <laughs> that. I just said Alvis was the one character who had things going on that we have yet to see and here we go. Uh, so the funny thing to me is the most boomer and crusty old racist people in the High Enter have had the, their entire ideology turned on their heels. Their bloody, blood is not cleaner and they are no better for being pure-blooded. They're just tools of God to cleanse their body uh, from any threats trying to kill him. Yes. And like the deliberate mixing of High Enter and Homs genes with the royal family was what I was trying to say. But um, the ruling class or the royal family is the ones that were doing it deliberately but it's interesting to know that there are general hyentia that have or homs genetics and don't have that uh telethia turning gene for lack of a better word but oh my goodness okay right this um is interesting <laughs> okay let's see what revelations alvis has to lay on us now <laughs> only you Nicole made you a wonderful new weapon. Since you lost your Monado, I mean. It uses the latest Machina technology. Use it when you wake up. Then, let's all go on living. Located the High Entia and the Nopon refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body, the Bionis. Well, this is our home. 
Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyantia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part Homs like me. Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, we know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Kallion would leave the fate of the Hyantia to you if that was gonna happen. Precisely. And Melia, if we are to survive, we must fight Sansa and the Telethia. It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once Hyantia. Your subjects and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the souls stolen by Zanza. You're a fighter, Melia. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. How shook? He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynus used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. What if the Telethia attack? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Albus? <laughs> exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanza. It is Zanza's will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. Whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Homs. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply <laughs> to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting, not till the end. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. <sighs> Fiora. <sighs> Sorry. I need to go and get some air. <sighs> okay, right. It is very difficult to try and schedule in ad breaks <laughs> when you have such a story heavy thing like this. So I think I'm going to go and just quickly get some um, or get a drink, get some food because I am starting to get hungry and this does not look like it's going to end anytime soon. So I'll run a quick bunch of ads, get myself some food and we'll be back shortly. And yes, shut up Alvis, you liar. <laughs> In a very dense part of the game. Yes, I feel that indeed. Remember to stay hydrated.
<laughs> okay, right. So I do have some things in front of me, so I am going to be munching on stream. But hopefully the sound's not going to come through for people, because I do have a noise gate on. So I do apologise if any munching sounds do come through. I will try and... Um, I will try and minimise it as much as I can. Thank you, Toxicite. So let's continue on. So we are just with Melia. So hopefully there shouldn't be any real combat sections here. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And we do apparently have quite a couple of... Um, Uh, shops here. Aha, here we go. I'll buy all of these. So if you're a weapon shop, then logically you should be Hello. an armor shop. Back from your scheduled stretch, that is good to hear. Oh, here we go. We've actually got some more of these. Summer Aqua and Summer Ice. Good. Good, we've got all of those and obviously I presume all of these we'll be able to get before we head out and obviously an indicator that we are not quite finished yet because there's a side quest person Where oh right yes we're in colony six aren't we oi colony six so you can see that I've kind of half got it back I've kind of half got it back and no problem I'm not a bot. Uh, thank you for popping in and have a good look. You love the music in all the Xenoblade games but the first one is special I can imagine. There we go. <laughs> This, this is probably, this is probably one of my favourite songs. It just brings to mind the, like, spirit of adventure to me. <laughs> just the spirit of adventure. It's like, I can't quite, um, obviously I can't quite place why, but it's because, oh, I can recognise these, like, some of the things. So we've got, like, violins and drums and such. I can recognise the instruments, but if you ask me anything about the, uh, like, what chord it's in or anything, the only thing I can say is, I presume it's in a major chord, because the minor chords are the ones that make things sound all scary. <laughs> Fiora, are you all right? Guess I wasn't hiding it well. I didn't want to worry anyone. It must be difficult living with that body. I'm getting more and more used to it. But people still look at me funny. Oh, it's not that bad. It feels pretty comfortable, actually. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body, the energy from the chest component made it work. It turned out to be a monado. Such a strange feeling. A Monado? Was that the Monado that Zanza took from Maynard? Will your body cease to function? I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? Oh, Melia. If I ever... Please take care of Thor. Don't talk like that. How can you ask? 
ask me such a thing. I'm, I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You're right. Thank you, Melanie. If Shulk awakes, will you tell him? No. He worries too much anyway. <laughs> he does worry. It's just like him. Actually, I'm already dead. I have been since the Mechon attack. Fiora. But I'm happy now. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while longer. Do you feel that strongly for him? Yes. That's why I'll fight on. And help him in any way I can. Let's get back. Everyone will start worrying. Yes. You are right. And Melia. Can you keep it secret from the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Maybe I'll tell him. But only when the time is right. I won't say a word. I'm nothing compared to her. <laughs> I was going to say, I just saw something in the sky. I was going to say, I just saw something in the sky. Was that, um, was that dangerous? Was that something dangerous? Yeah, Toxic Eye. It's like, I don't know why, but I really like Melia's model. I guess I'm a sucker for characters in white or grey. <laughs> Melia is incredible in general. The equipment PT gave her is very pretty. Yeah, I kind of accidentally kind of um, colour coordinated everyone. So, Shulk was in red, Ryan was in green, um, Sharla, kind of red and blue, Dunban, black and purple, um, Vicky, I can't really remember, Fiora ended up being like white with some gold accents, and unfortunately, Fiora is the one that I've not actually been able to find some good equipment with, mostly because she is... As you say, 90% mech on. And yet, of course, it's like speaking of like body being barely organic, head and spine, all that remains from her Homs body. I uh, don't know if anyone here has seen or read Made in Abyss. But um, what they do to the Homs that they turn into face mech ons just reminds me of um, what happens in the. Uh, Dawn of the Deep Soul section. If the Xena one party were the Power Rangers, Ricky would be the White slash Green Ranger. He's just that powerful. Uh, yes, I did hear amusingly that uh, he's not meant to have such high HP. But someone put like an extra zero at the end, giving him an immense amount. And they looked at it and just went, sure, we'll do that. And they just went, sure, we'll do that. We'll just keep that. So yeah, you can see where I've kind of gotten about halfway through restoring Colony 6. Because we've got like the animal pen and everything there. We've got a couple of the commercial districts and such. But apparently because some of the stuff I need to complete it was only found in the Maconis, I couldn't really do it before all of this started up okay down here and back to the ship is that telepia the horde of them are approaching let's move gotcha i'm going too but shock needs you i know but I can't just stay here. What if something happened to you? 
What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure? Go out in a blaze of glory. my decision in order to perpetuate their existence zanza and mayneth must use a being they created as a physical host they cannot exist forever as mere souls this world was created so that they may continue to exist it is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands this is the passage of fate and your visions. People live and die at the mercy of Zanza. And through this, Zanza maintains the existence of this world. Our destruction was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now wishes to destroy you? What is the need for this? That's because... He in fact has no choice but to do it. If he does not, he risks his entire existence. And we're the source of that risk. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. The lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. I couldn't save everyone. Nothing that exists is perfect. It is a sad truth, but you can learn from it and begin the journey on a new path. Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, decide, Shulk. Will you walk the path laid out by Zanza, or will you walk a new path? The Monado awaits you. That was always how it was going to be. If I'd wanted to walk the predetermined path, I wouldn't have come this far. Even with the odds stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. My own path, that I decide. Fiora, Ryan, Dunvan, Sharla, Melia, Ricky. We all feel the same. Well then, you must defy fate to succeed. Succeed and follow a new path. Alvis, 
Are you? You already know. You know what I am. And what you must do. Uh, waking this just in time to save the day. Never lose. <laughs> Ricky protect Colony Six. Right. We can't let them get any further. You know the drill. Take them down. Oh yeah. Okay, looks good to me. Yeah. So what I was saying earlier was that the one issue I have with using Melia is I don't get I don't really get like the haptic feedback I would otherwise get and expect when I'm playing with say Shulk or Ryan or Sharla. It's just kind of okay, am I doing a good job or not? A water elemental. Hopefully, get um, a bit of. And us the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. <laughs> we are doing okay. Ryan is correct. Perhaps we rely too much on the Monado and Shulk. Right. We've chosen to fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. <laughs> Look at them struggle. Huh. If they can't even handle a few telephia, how do they expect to defeat me? This is not the end. <laughs> to try and cover it up. Go on, just admit you've had enough. Never. Look out! Lots of dino beasts. Yeah. It truly seems as though everything is going as Zanza planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the will to seize our own destiny. No matter how hard you try to break us, the future is ours to shape, Dixon. Always! When will you learn you have no future? 
Shan. Face it. Your destiny is to die here. <laughs> I said he would wait just in time to save the day. Show me what you've got. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zadza? Let's see how you do against me. Oh, okay, right. Definitely, definitely need to be playing a shulk for this one then. <laughs> okay, party. And pop you out for Sharla just so we've got uh, some healing covered. I uh, feel like you may have too many blue arts, not enough variety. Poor blue, blue copy art should be enough. Don't remember the names, but Media only needs three to four blue arts at a time. It's good to change them situation, situationally. Yeah, I admit, most of the time I've just been pushing through and playing a shulk anyway. Partly because I was getting a little bit fed up with all of the combat. Okay, there we go. So get a purge out. And are we... Come on, tell me when we're at the side. Nope, nope. Okay, apparently we're not going to be told when we're at its side. <laughs> um, there's a lot of mechanics going on behind the screen. Yes, I can imagine. And I know... Uh, yes, anyway, and I was going to say, before I got interrupted there, was that I know that um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is even worse, doubly so, uh, when the game doesn't actually explain half of the mechanics to you. Yeah? Uh, thankfully with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I've played around in the first area with that one, so I know the mechanics. Uh, we've been days. So I know the mechanics for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which I know is um, not necessarily worse, but there are a lot of things that it doesn't explain to you in that either, but... Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Press two to the um, left too many times. Okay, ether particles. Okay. So anyway, for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I'm aware of like the um, attack 
cancelling how to get the level one two three elemental attacks what the hell's going on shook how'd you do it i could see it the future i don't have the monado but it came to me ryan from within nice one looks like we're back in business <laughs> bunch of ingrates oi Stop hiding and get yourself out here. I don't appreciate being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! <laughs> can't be. Alvis! Not you too! Yeah, another one of Lord Zanza's faithful. One of the Trinity. No! How can he be one of them? Alvis! Is this the only reason you served under my family? You traitor! Oi! Say something! Shulk! Leave it. It doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't change anything at all. Does it? Alvis? Yes. Precisely. You must find your own path to the future. But Alethia! He's suddenly just another one of Sansa's lapdogs. Get ready, everyone. Show them no mercy. As you wish. Let us see that will to survive. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Aha, we actually got, we got a topple on that one. We got a topple, yes. Anyone eating immediately, urgently? Nope, looks good. Yes. And there we go, another topple. Now we can just wail on you and just do a ton of damage. Okay, and perch. Healing. No, we are good on that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna save my, save my shaker edge. Yeah, a chain attack. Save that for the chain attack. Yeah, 19,000. I've had... Oh, I've gotten more damage. Anyone need healing? Ryan probably could benefit with a bit of a top-up. Let's just make sure we've got that done. Let's do another chain attack then. Too quick. Too quick to get that one off, but oh well. That 
all you got? Not so tough without your pets, are you? <laughs> I'll show you the will to survive! Meddling kids. <laughs> I have seen your will to fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you or to Zanza? Well, <laughs> either way is good with me. But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same, and he sees everything. As you see, Shulk. It's like he says. Get back here! You understand. Don't you, Shulk? Yeah. You can bet on it. We'll be waiting. We'll be on our best behavior. And we will be the best guests you ever had. Ah, that's quite a good comeback. I'm impressed. Oh, I'm trembling. <laughs> Me. Stupid meddling kid. <laughs> After all these years, I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? I have. She said she was going out to get some air. I don't think she went far. Thanks. I'll take a look. <sighs> Fiora, here you are. Oh, Shulk. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. <laughs> it's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. I wonder why Alvis said what he did. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Why would he side with Zanza? Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever? Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's another reason why I have to find Zanza. I have to find out why. You and me both. I must fulfill Maynith's wish. Shulk? You wanted to speak to me about something. Oh, that's right. Lenarda's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey, um, can you go ahead? I'll go and see Lenarda in a minute. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Oh, thank you. Mm. What can I do? If I go to see Leonardo, she'll find out what's happening to my body. I need to come up with a good excuse. <laughs> oh, please, let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. 
Or you could go and see her and see if she has some kind of solution. Zanza is inside the Bionis. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. Yes, and Alvis too. That's all good, but how do we get to them? If they're inside the Bionis, we're going to need to dig a pretty big hole. How long it take? Breaking it all soon. It just so happens I have the answer. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. It's the wound made by Agil's final attack. Then that means... Yes. While the Allied force keeps the Telethia busy, you can sneak inside that wound and take out Zanza. We will take junks. Let my father know when you are ready to depart. Yeah! Time to knock some heads! Ricky never lose! For Ricky family, Ricky win! We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! <laughs> Ready. We go to the Bionis chest. We will free our world from Zanza's curse. I'm sorry, that's just everyone else. Everyone else had a meaningful sentence about what was all going to happen. And then Fiora just comes in at the end and just goes, Stonk! Like, you don't have anything else to add? Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the team back. I'm going to head out and just have a look. See if we can gear up. For the final time, so we now have a replica Monado. So we want probably on this, so we'll give you a strength up, get a muscle up, and let's have a look. HP up is probably there's a side quest to unlock five other Monado weapons. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is probably going to be new game plus stuff. That is probably going to be new game plus stuff for me. But we don't actually need to keep the machina weapons, do we? So we could go for silence. Arcos Pike, not really. I say, why is that one saying it's. Oh, because it is. Oh, it's level three. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's level 3. That's why it's different. Okay. So, strength, strength, and lightning. Bug it. Oh. Never mind, it only has one slot. <laughs> yeah, maybe post-game. Because obviously there's... Um, I've probably still got a bunch of time. Okay. No new one there. A Machina Staff and we've got a Cloud Staff. Um, minimum Attack is not what I would really want. Okay, so let's have a look. Rex Fighter, Clavity Staff. Uh, not really the Delta Rifle. I've cut this, definitely not that. And I've already got two Karma Blades. So the Rex Biter, I said yes. And the Cavity Staff, yes. Hello. Okay, Ether. Oh, right. Those are only for you. So we've got Power, Attack. Speed. Okay, yeah, I'll get you a speed one. Okay, yeah. Most of these are just going to be for Fiora. I was going to say I'll just go through and get you a um, speed for everything, but apparently we don't quite have enough money. So we wanted yep, the Machina Staff 3 and the Rex Biter. Yep, 
yeah ability up for you i think we want obviously the ether up and yeah i'll give you the no actually no i won't give you the lightning attack because you have that generally don't you strength up okay Play speed a little bit less on the physical defense but should be good Uh, sorry, let me just go back. So... Oh, no. Okay, no, definitely not that stuff. Definitely not that one. Uh, what was it? The ether? Okay, we don't actually have that. No, because I don't have the right colours, and those are very, very pointy. <laughs> okay, that's not quite what I would have necessarily chosen. Uh, uh no, <laughs> not quite that one either. Yeah, this is why I kind of chose some stuff. <laughs> Hello there, Story of Mothy. I know it can be hard sometimes. Keep going with the things that make you happy. Be proud for what you're doing. And no matter what others tell you, just do it. Even if it gets hard, don't give up. It makes you happy and that's the only important thing. Indeed, that is good advice. Thank you very much and thank you for the follow as well. I hope your day has been going well so far and welcome in. I am just in the middle of selling up a bunch of weapons that I no longer need. So I can get some money to get uh, Fiora a bit more armour. So we should be done with this shortly. I'm just so glad that there is a speed sell option because a number of times I had to go through other games and figure out what I was going to do. Like this is nice and easy, just hold down the left trigger button and it does it all for you. And then the rest of it is gems. So let me just have a look. So it was... Lucina, you've been going around for two hours now to post this message to other streamers. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> oh, that is very nice of you. That is indeed very, very nice of you to be doing. <laughs> uh, I hope you've had good responses from other streamers as well. Yeah, thank you for that message. It was very much appreciated. Okay, so we should have, yep, so we can just come down here and put all of those on. And let's see if we, if these are the trousers. Okay, definitely not those ones. <laughs> oh, okay, right. That is not the right colour, but oh my goodness, that is impressive. Oh goodness, I cannot figure out which one. Gosh, I know this looks like a complete mess. I know this looks like a complete mess of things. I just need to 
Okay, that's the one we've got. That's the absolutely ridiculous one with the huge... Okay, I know, I know it doesn't match. I know it does not match. But that is probably the best one I'm going to get for the moment. And just doing a check over on the weapons, selling items. We're ready to have flying to the Bionis. Yes, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, a storm in colony nine sells super cheap but bad armor but skins are unique to the definitive edition gorgeous pieces of equipment okay i may have to do that off stream it looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh the bionis Ooh. is regaining its biological functions must be because zanza woke it up then we find zanza and stop him. Yeah, I may have to do that. Um, find those items off stream and maybe post some pictures in the Discord when I get everything set up. Because I admit, I was kind of hoping as I went through that I'd be able to change the uh, cosmetic versions of the armor, but especially with Shulk, I kind of saw things. I saw things and set it all up and okay you are way over level for us I can tell that just from the fact that your name or your thing is in red okay so we need to be careful because there are things here that will react on sound just be a little bit cautious Especially that one there, that reacts on sound, that's red. That's going to be majorly above us. In terms of skill level. Okay, and I have to say I both love and hate the music here now. It's like... I love it because it's eerie creepy and it really fits the atmosphere but then I also hate it because it's eerie creepy and fits the atmosphere kind of light subtle and a little bit bone chilling but yeah I'll have to see if I can uh get like a more complete set of all the cosmetic gear and make some new outfits for people because that has been fun having a look and mixing and matching pieces i'll probably actually have to post it up with all of the designs and drawings i've been doing for all the collectibles as well that you can get <laughs> you look well Lorathea. Show yourself. Look at that. The heart of the Bionis. The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Quit your yapping and show yourself. I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is if they survive <laughs> Lorithea, what are you planning forget her for now we must push on to the heart all right Ooh. Like this, um, yeah, looks like it's going to be interesting. 
so yeah like these things here like the um azure mouse i've been drawing a few things from of the collectibles from xenoblade chronicles uh mainly just as a way to get my or build up my drawing skill and such so i've been pretty much taking the descriptions if there's a item in real life that's similar to it like for instance all the ones that i've done so far have just been the foods and one of the flowers from colony nine okay that is an interesting spider there and obviously those are or well, they have real world equivalents so i have just gone and used real life items as inspiration and reference so it's going to be interesting when i get to some of the more unusual and unique items obviously trying to figure out in the description how they're designed what if anything they are taking inspiration from and any other aspects i can add in to potentially kind of create concept art for them i ah, no 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 run 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 just run just run I wasn't quite sure if that was um, closed or open. It was going to aggro. Okay, we need to go up this one. Oh my goodness. That was nerve-wracking. I didn't even see what level that was. I just ran. Just run. Like this Telethia here is level... Okay, it's actually only level 75. So we could actually, if we were a couple of levels higher, take these on. Uh, no, 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 bad Telethia, bad, shoo, shoo, no, bad Telethia, very bad Telethia, no, 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 just run, I have no idea if this is following me or not. Obviously, I still aggroed something, but I'm just running. <laughs> oh dear. No point picking up collectibles because we are... Okay, we've only got one left on our tail. Just keep running. Just keep running. They'll get bored. They'll get bored. I hope. Okay, yeah, this is definitely, actually, genuinely. Oh my goodness, are you still... Jeez, where even are you? Okay, you're over there, right. Hopefully. Oh my goodness. Hopefully we'll get far away enough that you will stop. Oh goodness. Right into the heart. Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Mmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. <gasps> I... 
Oh no. Uh, she just melded herself with the Telethia. Uh, yes, it looks like she has. Fun. Come on. Come on, we just need a couple more. There we go. Okay. Missed shot. Okay, 412 damage that is fine you can tank that oh good okay 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 that would be why Big Bang Six. Okay, shield to everyone. Okay, this one's probably going to take a while. Okay, okay, I've had aura seal then. I've been aura sealed. Okay, hopefully someone can come over and revive me. Yep, there we go, Sharla. Thank you. Whoops, I did that just as Ryan collapsed. Um, that was not good timing at all. In fact, I'd be more likely to say that that was absolutely atrocious timing. I'm going to risk doing that. Okay, 
Oh, I just realised I've been art sealed, haven't I? Whoops. Okay, right. I think... Okay, those Nova things. I think those might be... We need to take care of, perhaps? Enjoy this battle, for it will be your life. Okay, so they will aggro on site. Well, they've already aggroed on site anyway. I was going to say, I was about to heal her anyway. Okay, come on. Ah, come on. Okay, purge, come on. Hmm. Okay, right. Ether laser need to look out for that one. Maybe I should just ignore the ether things and just go straight for uh, Lorthea. Enjoy this battle, for it will be your Okay, come on. Okay. I was going to say, we have... Hey, wild down that only did a thousand damage but it has toppled her which is the main thing that we want okay do a purge just to get a few things off on They obliterate 1,400 and a topple. Okay. Okay, yeah, those Nova things are an annoyance. we are going to need to get rid of them at some point a purge there we can Okay, 
it right. It looks like. Yep, okay, they are. Okay, days, 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 come on. We can get rid of this, come on. Nope. Come on, Shala. This may be tricky. Hey, there we go. We've got Ryan back. Okay, where are... I was going to say, where are those um, Nova things? Yes, I know that's going to knock me out. Just let me do... Nope. Let's say, come on, stop knocking me over. Let me actually get to it. Okay, that didn't actually do anything anyway. So one, two, three, and Lorithia. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, art sealed. Come on. I'm barely doing any damage. Okay. What on earth am I going to do here? No, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this in time. Okay, right. Okay, um... Right, the good news is we do have a bunch of enemies around here that we can grind against. And hopefully, seeing as they're not going to be a boss, they won't be quite as difficult. The question is just how much time that's going to take. It's just going to be a question of how much time that takes. Okay, so you're level 72 and 73. Okay, yep. Yeah, okay, so these ones are just, or were just warning me that they were a little bit higher than us, not ridiculously higher, which is a good thing. Okay, so this one may take a bit of time to chip away at, but we're doing pretty okay. We are doing pretty okay against it, I would say. So this... Okay, I gambled on the wrong one. 
I gambled on the wrong one being available, but oh well. It's seven and a half thousand. That's still going to take a while. And what I want to also check is area maps. So. Okay, it still doesn't look like I can actually transport. Quick travel. Okay, I can. Ah, right. Okay. So I can quick travel to the Fallen Arm. Maybe. Or do I need to have a look at that? No, I can quick travel to the Fallen Arm and do a bit of grinding there. Okay. I guess that makes sense because that was where we came from. Um, right. So my question is, me spending the next however many hours grinding along is probably not going to be that interesting to people. Okay, colony line, we can still return to there. Colony six. The mine or part of it, subtle marsh, Magna Forest, Frontier Village, Erith Sea, not Alcamoth from the looks of it, High End Tier 2, not Prison Island, Valak Mountain, so I could go back there for a bit, not Sword Valley, Galahad Fortress. Not the McConnish Field, not the Central Factory, not Agnuatha, and not the McConnish Court. Okay, right, so there are a few things that I could go and do. So I think what I'm going to do is I am probably just going to wrap it up here because I don't think anyone wants to see me grinding close to level, close to about eight levels. <laughs> at least not right at this time hello jazzy may <laughs> you're just in time for me to actually swap games so what i'm going to do is i am going to save this uh, actually i'm going to get the chests first just so i yep we did get those so i'm going to save here uh, because I'm going to need to do some grinding. I am going to need to do some grinding before the next time. So we will continue that on Tuesday. From the looks of it, touch wood, we are genuinely at the end. And so I should be able to complete that at, by the end of next week. So that will be, yeah, so maybe the 1st of October we'll be able to wrap this up fully. Uh, you were so close. I know, I know. And when I say wrap up fully, I mean complete the game and do the future connected epilogue thing. Yes. Still have the epilogue. Yes. Left. Yes. So hopefully we'll be able to wrap it up on the 1st of October and I'll be able to go into some other... Uh, more relaxing games, which speaking of, um, I just need to go across and uh, load up this game because it's going to be the first load up. So I just need to make sure it works fine <laughs> and then we'll be transitioning over to something new in a moment. So I just need to get the game started. And so I can do a game capture window. Okay, so capture specific window and I want to go to that one. There we go. Okay. So it will take a moment to come through for you people. So I'll just get it. Ready for the moment.
Okay, that popped up for a moment, but then it has now disappeared, so please give me a moment. Aha, there we go. Okay, I'm not 100% sure that's done it correctly, but let me just have a look. Uh, Disney, Dreamlight Valley, okay, yeah, that is the correct one. It's just not displaying an icon. So yeah, so Disney Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> um, so let me just uh, turn my switch off so I can completely transition over. So yes, I know there's been quite a lot of... Um, stuff about all of this just to say the least and i did notice that this actually came up on xbox game pass so i've decided you know why not why not pop in and have a look to see what it is like and jesse may i did see you uh playing a little bit of this earlier or last night so this is going to be straight in creating our character and going in yes and yes i know i know this is probably a very very stereotypical game for me to be playing but i don't care i want to play it i want to see what all the fuss is about <laughs> okay so let me see my avatar right so obviously it's like avatar preset so let me have a look around so obviously you can stereotypical how so oh come on toxic I you know um I think I'll edit from her <laughs> Oh, have you not? Um, oh, there's a little bit of a stereotype. Uh, female streamer. <laughs> Late 20s, early 30s. Absolutely Disney fanatic. You've not heard that. Hello on top. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, that's a nice little winky emote. That is adorable. I love that. I love that. Yeah, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. It's a fun game. I have been hearing that, yes, which is why I have decided to jump on it now. So obviously we're going to be spending a little bit of time, a little bit of time creating a character just because I need to get everything absolutely perfect. So the question is, do I create it like my... <laughs> like my more like my real life appearance rather or do i look make it look like my avatar youtuber appearance okay uh face paint can i just get rid of this okay opacity to zero so there's no actual thing like hmm you're that type i don't see it if ck taught me anything family values drop off real quick well there's a lot of um <laughs> Well, I don't think there's anything unfamily friendly I can really do here. Uh, let me have a look. So, which nodes? Which node? Now, I think the first one. <laughs> yeah, no problem. On top. Thank you for popping by. Hope you are able to wrap up your work without too much trouble. Have a look. 
put that down. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna make this one look like my actual avatar. So that means green hair and teal eyes. Um, yeah, I think that one looks good. Hairstyle! Okay, colour. Which one looks most like mine? <laughs> uh, that's, that is probably a half decent colour for my eyes. Let's do that one. So what do we have? Oh, didn't want to zoom in there. Okay, so they're using the Sims 4-esque. Uh, you can offer, offer some cat notes. Oh, they're still cute. They're still cute little emotes. <laughs> From a couple of different people. So I've got my own little kitty emotes. Only a couple. So oh, I'll just show the ones that are like actually my own ones. So Odd Top did use one up there. So the little lurk icon. And then I've got a picture of me slash my avatar with my real life kitty cat. Um, okay, rather than clicking through all of these, <laughs> yes, Jazzy May has so many kitty emotes. Jazzy May has so many kitty emotes. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get one that's close by. I think that's probably going to be the best one. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, I can actually do... Oh my goodness, I can do, uh... Right, okay. Um, change of plans. I need that one there. And then I need... Oh no, that doesn't look as nice. That doesn't actually look as nice. Okay, that one will have to do. Um, body, I think I'm absolutely fine keeping that. I already did the face paint. And the eyes, I forgot to change the eye colour. Yeah, that's going to have to do. Uh, no facial hair. And ready to go. Ready? <laughs> Our story begins with an ending. As you decide it's time to leave the city behind. Yearning for a pause from life's responsibilities. You arrive at a familiar place. <laughs> a quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler. And with a touch of imagination, all your dreams would come true. Finding the perfect place for a rest, you begin remembering these long-lost dreams and drift off to sleep. You excited for me to be playing this, Jazzy May? then? <laughs> and yeah, Vash, you are in good company here because I am also a cat lover. Hello, Merlin. Hmm. Uh, how long am I going to be streaming for today? Um, probably maybe a couple more hours. Oh, Just depends on how much I get into this, but I'm definitely going to be finishing before uh, like 6 p.m. my time. Which is about three and a half hours, so I'll say between about two and three hours, just depending on how things. So, what's this? Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? Of course I'm real. <laughs> well, you never can be too sure around here. Oh. I'm afraid you have to excuse me. I haven't met anyone in ages. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley. This place is... 
Yeah, awfully mysterious. I feel like I could explore this place forever and still not find all its secrets. Hmm, yes, the valley is full of mysteries. There was a time when it was also filled with magic and wonder. <laughs> but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. You're Merlin. It's all, I almost feel like I know you. You're a great and powerful wizard, right? Well, yes, but just not just any wizard. I'm a soothsayer, a prognosticator. I have the power to see into the future. <laughs> and I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and prestidigitation. Now that that's settled, there's a small matter of who you are. Me? I'm Positron. Well, the only way to get through dreamlike valley is to pass through dreams. But you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? Magic? Me? No. No way. I can't tell an Abracadabra from an Alakazam. <laughs> oh, I think you'll find that magic often chooses us. And rarely does it choose unwisely. I'm quite certain you're the one we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. Yeah, save it from what? A wise question indeed. After all, a problem can't be solved until it's understood. If we're to restore the valley to what it was. A place of magic, wonder, friendship. We need to stop the forgetting once and for all. I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Ah yes, the forgetting. You'll have to forgive me, but you can now see where it gets its name. Oh. Listen closely and I'll tell you the tale. Ah. Life was flourishing thanks to our ruler's magic. <laughs> Until one day our ruler left without a trace and the forgetting came. Our memories began to fade and Dreamlight Valley became a shadow of its former self. We did our best to preserve the memories. Gosh, that text goes by fast. And as I can see into the future, I knew that someday someone would come to help restore the valley. Oh yeah, tell me more about the missing ruler. They watched over the village, kept us safe from dark magic. One day they started to act different, though I can scarcely remember it now. And then her ruler simply vanished. Hmm. It's been years, I think. I've lost all track of time because of the forgetting. Your ruler just upped and left? Yeah, maybe the forgetting made your ruler leave. Certainly seems logical. The forgetting must be connected to our ruler in some way. If only I could remember how. So the forgetting, when our ruler left, the sky turned dark. Then those horrid night thorns infested the village, spreading everywhere like a bad thought. The more night thorns that appeared, the more clouded our memories became. Sometimes I can't remember all the faces of the friends I've lost, or the names of the spells I've forgotten. Maybe if we get rid of the night thorns, yeah, your memories will return. Now that's an interesting thought. Yeah, I'm ready to help. Well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain. A small test of your magic. I've been puzzled about this house blocked by the night uh -oh. Come along, we'll investigate it together. I tip my hat to you, though I, I prefer not to take it off. Okay, left click or use E, move around W, A, S, D, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to... Sit... Things, controls... Sensitivity. Okay, that's better. So we want to investigate this. So what do we need to do here then? Aha, there we oh, go. Hello. So the night thorns began infesting Dreamlight Valley soon after our uh -huh. ruler disappeared. No one, not even I, can move the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will be able to. And I'm certain that someone is you. But I'm just ordinary. That may be, but I've seen seemingly ordinary people do extraordinary things before. Now, focus your thoughts. Okay. 
Focus on it and say the magic words. Um, Abacadabra? Straight to the point and quite a classic. <laughs> there we go. You've done it. This booty can harness the power of dreamlike magic. Well then, no time to lose. Let's go inside and see what's become of this house. Thank you. You're very kind. Uh, well, hello. Nightfalls have made their way into the house too. That's strange. Can't remember why we came in here. Like, house must be important. Pesky nightfalls. Being near so many of them is clouding my mind. We must remove them before they consume ah, more memory. Yes. They focus. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. How do I remove them? Simply, okay. The focus your you magic now. then. Lots to do, lots to do. Oh, okay. So it's just, whoop, and they're gone. Okay. Fair enough. And what's this. Investigate. Uh, investigate the glowing orb. Aha! Pictures! Hey, interesting. Well, hello! Goodness, the glowing orb you pulled from the night thorn. It's a memory. I, 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 uh, huh? Like a fog has lifted and I can recall something of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were at the Dream Castle and we left something there. Something important. So yeah, what was it? You can't remember. Oh, of course not. We'll just have to go and see for ourselves. It's something else returning to me. When our ruler left, the royal tools were lost, scattered throughout the valley. We must find them. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. So yeah, I had those and I could solve the mystery. Certainly no shortage of mysteries to solve around here. So the pickaxe driven into a blighted stone in the plaza around the time the sky went dark and the night thorns overran it. Bit of a muddle, I'm afraid. No one's been able to lift the pecax from the stone, but then no one was you. Wouldn't be the first time someone pulled something from a stone and became a hero of legend, yes. Uh, find the other world tools, shovel, water and can and fishing rod. Um, I'll stay here for now. You'll still need a place to eat, sleep and keep your energy up. So consider this your home. And I'm just going to say it's got so much potential. Just as a whispered word can conjure great magic, this house holds much promise. The ruler of Dreamlight Valley had a house like this once. Perhaps he'll do as much good for the valley as our ruler did. And we get a chest with some energy. Okay. Splendid. Okay, there we go. So obviously I for inventory. Welcome package. Little chair, five apples, three cookies. Furniture. So put the sturdy chair. Just gonna put that down just in case we need to have that for anything. Oh that is nice! That is nice. They actually give you a turban and a headscarf just for free. That is nice to see. That is very nice to see. Very much appreciated there. That is very appreciated. Okay. So I'm presuming we can use the... Or we can get rid of these without actually using too much. Good day to you. Oh, you gave me quite a start. Don't oh, so you know never to sneak up on someone while he's contemplating his investments? Oh, you're Scrooge McDuck. Aye, that I am. You must keep up with the business news. No, my business is in a sorry state. Just look at my shop. Yeah, the whole village is in a sorry state. That may be, but you cannot be hopeless about it. A true visionary sees opportunity around every corner. After the sky went dark, most of the villagers skedaddled, and fewer and fewer clients came in until they were stopped altogether. But I cannot remember where they all went. 
I know, I stay to take care of my shop and my money. Then, oh yes, the night falls box me in and I cannot remember much after that. But like like glittering off gold, I'm starting to remember how the village used to be and all its investment opportunities. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say I want to get in on this investment. I could use some help, that much oh, is true. Oh, Perhaps right. we could come to an arrangement. Let's hear it. If you help me make enough star coins to put my shop back in business, I'll make sure it's stocked with everything needed to pull, pull, put the valley back together. Goofy used to have a stall in the meadow to the south. I'm sure he'd appreciate any help you can get him. The lad doesn't exactly have a mind for money. You'll need a way to find... Goodness. You'll need to find a way to break the rocks. Find Goofy and help him get him get back in business. Then you can help me with my grand reopening. Okay. Right. This is all starting to come together a little bit but yes indeed it is nice to see that you have the option to or you are given a turban and a headscarf just straight up and okay we have a map there we go select the castle or use a shortcut t to fast travel okay Okay, aha, okay, so these are resources that we can just have then. Of course, I'm not quite sure if I'm actually just using up all of my energy or not. And yeah, no problem, Toxic Hype. Thank you for popping by. I hope you have a um, good time at the gym. So where do I need to go? Okay, so you told me I needed... I'm a little bit lost already. Okay, yeah. Um come up here. Well we go. Uh holds many secrets, answers. Oh, oh. Can't seem to remember what's inside. So the key yeah. to saving the valley. <laughs> if we're going to restore Dreamlight Valley, we must get inside. Let's go. So these things in case the Dream Castle are, aren't like any you've dealt with before. They're stronger and will take more of your magic well, to defeat. I tip my hat to you. It, though I, I prefer not to take it all. Hey then. Oh, so everything in Dreamlight Valley is made of Dreamlight. Ah, yes. Sparkles you see over everything and everywhere. Everyone, even a wizard such as myself. Dreamlight became scarcer and scarcer as the forgetting fell over the valley. Oh. Ever since you arrived, the magic has started to come back. So, yeah, I don't feel very magical. <laughs> oh, it's not all about magic words and casting spells, well. you know. Dreamlight magic goes stronger through acts of friendship, love and care. Simple acts like removing night thorns or forging a friendship with me. Gaze into the well and you'll discover the different tasks that will create more dreamlight. But to fully embrace the potential... You need to gather the royal tools. Okay, Mickey's been the gardener. Perhaps he knows the whereabouts of the watering can and the shovel. And fishing. Goofy. Fishing rod. Haven't heard from him since the stones blocked our path. So yes, we need the pickaxe. Well, run along now. Okay, so yes, we did have a look in here. But we need, do need to do it. So remove small night thorns. Okay, so basically you're just going to get stuff... Aha! There we go, we can... We've got 50 there. And then that is... Oh my goodness, okay, wow. They've put a lot of effort into this. They have definitely put a lot of effort into this. So, we needed to find that pickaxe. Said it was embedded in stone somewhere. Let's go up here and have a look, see if we can remove these. See if I can remove these. Uh, nope, apparently not. Come on, there's a path just to the side. Morning to you. Box some carrot seed. Oh, 
hello. Yes, hello. Um, gosh. Ah, oh, what's your names? I can't remember your names. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna. Okay, this is another game that is gonna be really, really bad for me because I'm just gonna go around and grab like everything, regardless of how much I need it or use it. Okay, and there's more thorns over here. Okay, so we can collect something there now. And uh, what's in here? Coins? Two? Oh my goodness, okay, that is a lot. Okay, that was a lot of money just there. Wow, right. Aha! Well, I found one thing early. <laughs> hey! Watering cam! We can now grow, now grow stuff. Yeah, Scrooge is a mob boss, I can imagine. Um, bag with something. Apple. He gets a cut of everything. Okay, we can't actually get by that. Um. What can I not actually want for that yet? <laughs> Okay, so we can go in here. We go collect that. Ah, there's the shovel. Okay, so it is just honestly genuinely going to be... Just hanging around from the looks of it then. Dig holes in the ground will move obstacles. Okay, so. Like so, then. And then cover it back up. Oh my goodness, okay, this is going to take up so much of my time. <laughs> this is going to take so up so much of my time. We can't go there just yet. More fruits. That's boys. Okay, so it was the watering can, the shovel, and the pickaxe. So I've not actually found where the pickaxe is yet. Hopefully my inventory is going to be able to keep all of this stuff in. Hopefully my inventory is going to be able to keep all of this stuff in. Another bag of mysterious stuff. Oh, right. Here's the pickaxe. Okay. It's no longer quite as dark. <laughs> Yay. Okay, pickaxe can also be accessed using five. Mine and remove obstacles. Space bar. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, my brain is just basically telling me, gather all the things, because you know you're going to need it at some point. Ok, 
Okay, I swear I saw an orange tree. I know that's an apple tree, but I will still grab it. Oh, okay, hang on, let's say, um... Magic orb. Puzzle piece. Also, it's hard to dream like Bally. Come together to help each other when needed and to celebrate whenever we have an excuse. Old rulers lost diaries. Okay. And yeah, Jesse May, I have some suspicions about who said a previous ruler is so i don't know if you have the same suspicions or if you know but i'm a little bit or well, going a little bit hmm about it and yes clearing the vines does indeed look really or oh, is really satisfying no i didn't want to do that didn't want to do that either didn't not want to do that I say no, I want to talk. Well, hello. So you pulled the pickaxe from the stone. <laughs> Jazzy mate, you have no idea. Okay. Just a theory. So we randomly have magic. And we said that we headed to like a place in the forest where we visited when we were younger, which we used to like imagine and make up stories. Based on that, I think we are the previous ruler and Greenlight kind of um, falling into disrepair is because we stopped visiting that place for whatever reason and now we're back. We've forgotten that we actually were the ruler of this place, which is why we are so easily able to travel in here, use the previous ruler's weapons and help rebuild the village or or help rebuild the valley that's what i think i think we are the previous ruler <laughs> so anyway yes we pulled the pickaxe from the stone the enchanted pickaxes in the hands of someone's worthy again the darkness has finally disappeared <laughs> stop you little genius <laughs> so yes well i will be very interested to see if there i actually genuinely is the case <laughs> i see marvelous things about your character Aww. hello there passing xenoblade x looks awesome it does it is a spin-off of the regular xenoblade thing so it did or allow itself to change up from what was in xenoblade chronicles one and Hopefully, it should be interesting and fascinating enough on its own. But anyway, pickaxe helps you find gems, use it to break through rocks oh. and stones. So, what kind of change? Well, that's entirely in your hands. You've already started on your journey. We've lost so much, you know, not just memories and tools, but magic and friendship too. Those of us who stayed when the forgetting began have been scattered. Some are even trapped. It's up to you to find them. Thank you. You're very kind. Okay, so we need to find the fishing rod in the meadow then. Okay. That makes sense. So we need to figure out where... So Mickey is down here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You click on it and it actually gives you a path to follow that's fun that's fun <laughs> boy am i glad to see you positron yeah! oh boy am i glad to see you who else i'm glad to see you too i saw you talking to merlin and came in to get yeah! something for you <laughs> hello tim <laughs> I can't seem to remember what. Must be because of those night dawns. Yeah, and the forgetting. 
<laughs> Hello there, General Kenobi. But these night falls are the worst. I've tried everything and nothing works. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Yes, hello, how are you doing? Oh. Get another orb with another journal piece. I oh, know a picture. Remy! Yay! Remy! <laughs> hey, yeah, Tim, hope your day's been going well. Um, I did wake up seeding the early for me so i decided to just go ahead and do some streaming <laughs> you're roaming and scaring trick streamers ah well okay so we've got a book so can we nope okay so we've cleaned up everything we found a book <laughs> just a few minutes ago you caused a stroke ah is that just because you Randomly hey, came in and, and redeemed a sound then. <laughs> but yeah, I woke up ridiculously early. Streamed some more Xenoblade Chronicles. I am legitimately stuck on a section because I'm not high enough level. So I need to do a bit of grinding. So I decided to put that to the side for the moment and check out a bit of uh, Disney Dreamlike Valley for a bit. Just for something nice and fun and chill. Oh, hot dog, it's all coming back to me now. Dreamlike Valley used to be full of friends. Like my pal Remy, he was always trying out new recipes. <laughs> and I was always happy to taste them. I also remember when Remy had to leave. He left me all of his recipes. Yeah, why did he leave? Because the night thorns came and everyone started to forget. I buried his recipes all over the valley to keep him safe. It seemed like the best idea at the time. Yeah, so scaring people through um, sound, sound redeems. A bit too powerful. <laughs> well, a bit like when you were redeeming them all on Thursday and making me jump. I'm sure you enjoyed doing that. <laughs> and yes, we've got the shovel. So there's a recipe we can already get. So the memory you found should give us a clue as to where we can find it. See you real soon. Okay, and um, could you please move? Because I see something behind you. Oh. Or can I not actually... Ah, there we go. I was going to say, can I not actually get to that? Okay, another journal fragment. That's on a good front, but I can tell he's utterly heartbroken. Minnie was his other half. Now she's disappeared. I don't know how long it will be before. Oh dear. Oh dear. So anyway, yes. So we still need to find the fishing rod in the meadow. Uh, game is now synced to your time. Characters will follow their own schedule. And come back daily to discover new stuff. Okay, so where is this recipe? Oh yes. the mem Ah, yes. Okay. Yep, yeah, so the... Right there, okay. <laughs> so right next to the Shea Remy sign. If, of course, I can remember where I saw Shea Remy. There it is. Try not to get stuck on the sign. Aha! There we go. That's the one we need to do. we go there's a recipe so sign post forest of valor in that direction aha okay here's the meadow ah there we go, so our magic is effectively our energy then. And there's the fishing rod.
I can't pick up the fishing rod, are you kidding me? Hey, where's my inventory? Okay, so we need 5,000 coins. We don't have that. Um, might as well just eat some raw wheat. And hopefully now... There we go. So, quest started fishing expedition. And we also need to find where Goofy has gone. Oh, this does not look good. That does not look good at all. Um, okay, so we can sell all of these. Ah, there we go. Uh, press O and go to settings. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, sounds. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> and this is another journal fragment. That's, that's fine, Jazzy May. Thank you for letting me know. So yeah, Meadow is a fair and peaceful place, good for a picnic or a walk. But yeah, the way you were saying it, I thought uh, something major, majorly had happened. <laughs> there you go, so we now know a fruit salad, so it just requires one apple. Oh my goodness, look at all this. So My Hero Cookie, so Wreck-It Ralph. Aurora's Cake, Sleeping Beauty, Beignets from Princess and the Frog. Oh my goodness. Oh, Blueberry Pie from, um, ah, uh, Brave. Caramel Apples. Um, Mickey Mouse Waffle. Jam Waffle. Oh my goodness. This is going to make me so hungry. Snow Cones, Monster Zinc. Monster Zinc, that is going to... <laughs> oh goodness, this is all just going to make me so hungry. Wonderland cookies, Alice in Wonderland. And there's another big coin. Okay, only 10 gold. I really do not like that thing. I really do not like that thing. Okay, apparently we can't go around that way. Okay, who lives here? Mm -hmm. I thought so. Hello, Goofy. Hey there. Ah, oh, she's someone new. You're not the scary kind of stranger, are you? You're just a friend I haven't met yet. I'll just say I'm here to help. It got a little scary when the sky went dark and a bunch of my friends left. And now you're here. We're going to be good pals, I just know it. Oh, that ain't too forward. Oh, there's so much I want to show you. There's my store. We'll have to clean it up, though. And we can go fishing. I have to find my lucky fishing rod. Oh, slow down. I think I already found it. Only one problem. It seems to be broken. Oh, thanks. Yeah, let me see. Ah, oh, it's just jammed up with seaweed, but it's all fixed now. Tell you what. Now I have my lucky fishing rod back, I'll give you this one I found. So we can fish together. I think it belongs to our world ruler. Hey, look, he seems to like you. And yeah, that's weird. I'm not special. Oh, you seem pretty special to me. Oh, here you go. It's all yours. And here's a groovy hat so you can look like a real angler. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. What do you think of the hat? Pretty spiffy, huh? It's a bit goofy. No, it's nice. Oh, I'm glad you like it. All right, let me show you how to use your new fishing rod. Okay, so... There we go. Right, so I think I'm just going to do this uh, fishing rod thing and then I will probably wrap up for the day. So obviously started early but finish going to be finishing early. Aim at the ripples. Press left mouse button quickly every time the circle turns green. Okay, sorry Goofy. So, uh, four. Oh. Okay, so I need some... I need to eat some stuff then. Okay. Oh my goodness, that gives you so much energy. That gives you so much energy. Okay, let's go. Oh, no. Completely missed that. There we go. We caught a rainbow trout. <laughs> yeah. Fishing in games does tend to be a bit... Um, um, it can be a bit difficult. Hi there, pal. Oh, what do you know? You're a natural. That was fun. It sure is, and useful too. You can sell your fish at my store as soon as we get it reopened. Okay. So you know what? Let's actually get the store opened. And then I've got a good point to start from next time. A bit more run down than I thought, but that's okay. Uncle Scrooge's construction company can fix it right up. You can use a sign to call him. Oh, okay, there we go. Neighbor. About time Goofy fix this place up. Glad he's got you to help. Now let's get down to business. He can have the stall at no extra cost, but next time I won't be as generous. What do you say? I can be sure. Let's fix it up. And if you see another property you're interested in, don't hesitate to let me know. <laughs> there we go. So, art of earning star coins, be active, gather resources, sell what you don't need, and receive star coins in exchange. Oh, did not want to do that. But thanks for everything. Finding my fishing rod help, helping me fix up the store. You're one great pal. Like, anything to help friends. Here's a little something, free sample of the seeds I sell. Some lettuces and some wheat. And carrots. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Uh, choose an item to drop. Um, okay, 25, 25. Oh, oh. 18. You get new stuff at the store all the time, so come by anytime you like. You could even be an investor and help me make it even better. Then I can sell even more tight kinds of seeds. Okay, right. We'll just open this chest 181 gold not bad and there is another item here okay another journal scrap page assuming rivalry lately Scrooge for the life of him can't figure out why Goofy's story is more possible Goofy started trying to help, and that's going about as funnily as Goofy's help always does. Aww. Uh, yeah, I think that has been a um, nice little um, introduction to the game. So let's just return to the title screen. Uh, progress has been saved lo locally. Yep. I don't... Ugh. It's not like I've um, immediately bought a load of uh, stuff using real world money in this anyway but that is uh disney dreamlight valley a little bit of a preview yes i have liked it i have enjoyed it it's um 
very Animal Crossing like, I say. It's very Animal Crossing like, but obviously with the Disney stuff in it. Um, where was I? Okay, so speaking of um Animal Crossing like, so there's a person called Ali Atara who I just started following the other day. She is playing a game called Wildflowers, which in itself is very much like Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, so this is your first farming game. Uh, so actually what I will do is I'll actually remember to put this one up. So I will see people next time on Tuesday. And hopefully I will have managed to grind up a little bit more on Xenoblade Chronicles. And hopefully we can wrap up the week and the month with that. And then progress on to some more games, which who knows, I may be coming back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> Just as a chill, relaxing little game. So if people want to come and follow me to Alia Tara, then we have a raid message. You can copy, of course, if you want. Aliyatara. Just make sure I spell that correctly. <laughs> um, so it does say this channel is intended for mature audiences, but, you know, that's probably just a general uh, thing that she's played some more mature games. But either way, we'll head over. Thank you very much, everyone, for popping by. Um, Ash, I may ping you on Discord in a bit and we can have a talk about JRPGs, Tales of, uh, The World Ends With You, Xenoblade, all of that good stuff. But for now, thank you very much everyone for coming along and watching. I uh, hope you have a good rest of the day and I will see you again next time. Bye bye for now. like the kind of person who would be up yeah there we go okay first i'm gonna just like see oh, okay sure that's this is not what i meant i'll have to make another incantation and explain myself but